This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. Oh, yeah. No, both of those rides. <laughs> I had no idea. No wonder he wanted to give us a ride again. Yeah. We had two. You had this where you have the Uber driver who's terrible, <laughs> but you're you're respectful. Like, you're just like, I'm just, you know, you kind of bite your tongue. <laughs> well, you want to live. Yeah, you want to live. You don't want to complain And then during you're, you're the just ride. like, I'm not going to be a dick. And then they're like, uh... Hey, I'll give you my card, and you can just hit me up directly. Yeah. And you're like, for what? For, for more of this shit? <laughs> for I'm trying to get nauseous. Why? Why would I call you? And they're like, <laughs> this way we have our own relationship, you know, direct. And I'm like, mm. no thanks. Well, yeah. my favorite is that the second guy's car reeked of the cologne. Yeah, I was th- wanted to throw up the whole time. My favorite also was that this guy goes, you know, who was a dick? Yeah. Uh, and he talked about like a, a famous basketball player, and I was like, oh, really? That's too bad. Like. I guess it happens. He was like, yeah, he's a real asshole. And I was like, yeah, that sucks. He's like, yeah, I mean, I went to drop him off and I asked him to take a picture. And then he was just like, no. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. You made it sound like this guy was a dick out of nowhere. You mean you were driving him in your professional job and then you <laughs> insisted on a photo? Yeah. And someone didn't want to take Maybe a photo? Maybe he's not in the mood because he, yeah. he thinks he's just getting a ride to the airport, <laughs> right? asshole. Like he thinks dick. he cannot yeah. deal with you at the yeah. moment. Yeah. My favorite, like, yeah, like, everybody should always want to take pictures with me. Yeah, it's a, he's a human being. Maybe the guy's tired. Maybe, Maybe he doesn't feel like he's fucking taking pictures with you, asshole. You motherfucker. Yeah. This is Scorpion. This is Scorpion. <laughs> Produced by Mike Calico. Oh, hi, Mommy. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, motherfucker. Um, here's my uh, my two big ads this week. If you don't know, now you know. Um, so my Boston week, I actually am going back and forth between the Chevalier and the the Wilbur. You know, normally you play Chevalier. You play one or the other. Um, so if you wondered why it's the back and forth, it's just because the Wilbur wasn't available. Normally I'd just do a Wilbur run, you know, like stay there. So um, Thursday, there's two. Right? No, sorry. Friday, there's two at the Chevalier. The, the Late Show's almost sold out now. Two Saturday at the Wilbur. We're adding a Sunday. Jesus Christ in heaven. At the Chevalier. So it Chevalier. goes... Chevalier. It goes... Uh, that's how I my agent say says it. it. Is that wrong? It's um, the French. It's French. It's the Chevalier. Chevalier. Uh, Chevalier. Che- <laughs> the Chevalry. The Chevalry is going to go uh, on pre-sale Wednesday. The code word is Boston. The word is Boston. If you want to get tickets... Uh, noon local time code word is Boston that's in Medford um, thank you so much Boston area has been extremely I, generous and kind to may me. I suggest for Boston yeah sure Ballston Ballston yeah yeah that sounds like a really good idea um, <laughs> the no I, it's better than what you got going it's not okay. even how you say that city's name it's Ballstown okay um, the other <laughs> the other big one I'm excited about Stupid. Is we uh we added a show in Nashville um, at the Ryman April fourteenth at nine thirty p.m. and what's we just talked about oh and Louisville Louisville uh, at the Brown Theater <laughs> <Nuh-uh>. <laughs> which I know would make you happy yeah yeah the added show did you show, special request that Tuesday May twenty eighth it's uh it's going on sale uh, local I think ten a.m. local time. Wednesday, this Wednesday. So thank you. Tuesday, May 28th, I'll be in Louisville, Kentucky, the Brown Theater. <laughs> yeah. Uh. That's uh, that's that. But then the rest of the dates are all there. TomSegur.com slash tour. It starts off January 4th, the Take It Down tour in Manfran Disco. I will be up there, um, and I'm bringing the great Josh Potter with me to, at the Masonic. So. Oh, you think he'll talk about murder? We might. I don't know. What about Eugene? January 10th, here in Hollywood, California, at the Comedy Store. I'm headlining the main room. Get your tickets for Ooh. that. January 31st, February through February 2nd, Denver, Colorado, at the Comedy Works. Now, um, 
Yeah. Downtown? That's coming downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. February 23rd, West Salem Springs. I've rebooked that one in Oklahoma at the Cherokee Casino. February 28th through March 2nd, Madison, Wisconsin at the Comedy Club on State. April 4th through 6th, Minneapolis, Tits, Minnesota. Finally, I'm going there. I've never been. Yeah. We're doing the Acme, Acme, not the Acme. Not Acme, <laughs> no. Acme. Now, I've been told there's some sporting event happening that week. So if you guys are traveling from out of town, I would recommend getting your hotels now because there's some major sporting thing going down that weekend. Which, which weekend is it? April 4 through 6. Oh. My agent jeans was telling me about it. Hmm. I have to book my hotel right now. Oh, boy. May 10th and 11th, Tempe, Arizona. Tempe. 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 And then June 20th through 22nd, Washington Dickcom at the DC Improv. All ticket links at Christina P. Online. Get your jeans. There you go. There you go. I'd like to give a special shout out to all the mommies who came out to Phil Philadelphia and to Jew Dork Titties. Uh, what a phenomenal run I had. I can't thank you guys it's enough. It's amazing. It was some, something special. Really special. Proud of her, Jean. Very, very excited for you. <laughs> Uh, no, really, big things are happening. Big genes are happening. Big genes are happening for you. Big episode. You ready to get started, Gene? I'm so ready. All right. Let's start this uh, part of... Uh, let's, let's go, go full throttle. Let's go full throttle. <laughs> if another fucking faggot, oh. gay person... No, he's not a he's not faggot. I didn't mean that. This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of people messaging the talking trash about this water. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's uh well it's purified, so I think that's uh, one of the things that yeah. Martin taught us is not. Well, I'll ideal. tell you what, I don't actually drink the bottle, the water that comes in that bottle, I refill it oh. at our house. Yeah. I don't like to waste the plastic. And I and truth be told, I know I bought reusable containers for the water. Yeah, I don't the, like uh, them. They they taste like plastic. Let's look at the marketing behind this. What makes Essentia better? Our proprietary process turns water from any source into supercharged <laughs> ionized alkaline water. It's even too pure to be taste to be tested by pH strips. Oh. Hmm, let's see. That's your tap water I'm drinking. That's filtered water. Tastes like my house. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You got it. Uh, you got to love a guy who's angry enough to make a post and yes. use a naughty word, yes. but is self-aware enough to correct himself right in that moment. <laughs> he was so angry. He was like, all right, I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. And you never hear that. <laughs> no, it's not faggot. I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel but like... He, he, he let it go. He was like, I'm, I'm Can sorry. Can I tell you, real talk, I think uh, in New York I may have done that. Wow, well, I was really? like, this fucking, f oh, jeez, I can't say that anymore. Oh, uh, you can't I think say I that. do the same thing as this guy sometimes. Yeah, he's, he's really upset. No, he's not, he's not faggot. I didn't mean that. <laughs> you know why he's, he's like, upset? No, why? He's upset. Here, I'll let him explain. This is why he's so upset. If another gay person messages me a picture of their ass, and their ass looks like a woman's ass, and I think it's a woman's, and I open it, yeah. And I get aroused. Ever a fucking game. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. So apparently, yeah. he's mad that he's becoming sexually aroused um, by men's booties that yeah. he thinks are women's booties. Has that ever happened to you? Be honest. Like where you're on, you're surfing the webs looking for stuff to beat your meat to. Uh -huh. And you're like, this chick's hot. And then you're like, whoa, that's yeah. not a chick. Oh yeah, for sure. And then do you beat yourself? Because it sounds like he's really beating himself up. Well, he's beating <laughs> he's himself up for it. even just having the moment right. of being like, oh, that's hot. Oh, that's a guy. Like that's what he's. Right. I mean, I don't know who that hasn't happened to. You've seen <laughs> like, you know, you can see, I've even seen like a, uh, a girl in public, like she's pretty, and then be like, "Oh, that's a guy," <laughs> like that. That's even a non-binary. Yeah, you'll just see like long hair and maybe yeah. a profile, and you're like, "What's an attractive woman? That's a guy," <laughs> like that. That happens for sure. Yeah, but yeah, on if you're like looking on porn sites, you can definitely get tricked. You know, yeah. I mean, obviously they're going to advertise that but you can scroll you know they have like the pop-ups and all the and you're like well yeah. I, I have clicked on and people have sent me you ever, you've seen the thing right yeah. where it's like someone will send you a video and you open it and it pans down it'd be like gorgeous face 
gorgeous yes. body. You'll see tits. You're like, damn, you're like, homie. Oh shit. Yeah. And then they pan all you know, like all the way down and then like huge dick. And you're it's like, the oh, dong. okay. That's what I was just right. gonna say is that I've accidentally clicked on thumbnails I thought were one direction. Yeah. And then you're like, Oh, those are those are two dudes. But he makes it sound like I mean, look how angry he is here. He makes it sound like <laughs> People, well, he's saying that are sending him. Well, so, he's like, you're forcing me to come. Well, but I to mean, these gay dudes. But someone he said they're sending me, uh, right? Doesn't he right. say they're sending? Right, right, right. Which means that he's is he being like targeted? You know, another gay person messages me. Messages me. Ass. So someone's messaging him. That means directly being like, you should look at this. Interesting. Do you get sent those a lot? No, I uh, know. I only get. I get. Um, the compliments, um, mostly from men. Right. You but get not, the not bear community. Photos. The gay bear community is definitely your demo. No, the section. way that I do it, they, it's kind of, they'll be like, um, oh my God, you're so funny. I love, you know, the special or the podcast. And I'm like, oh, cool. And they'll be like, uh, you're also pretty cute. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't hurt that you're easy on the ass. Yeah, I've gotten that. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to say you're hilarious uh, and also the hottest. Come on, I'm like, God, okay. And do you think they're? But that's, how would that upset? It doesn't upset me. It doesn't upset you, but I like I like their tactic because it's like I'm gonna throw it in there. I'm yeah. gonna just throw the hook out. That's what guys do. And you do. never know if he's gonna because be like, Oh, this is wow, wow, see, you're cute too. That's you know? men, <laughs> straight or gay. Yes. Doesn't matter. Yes. Guys, just go throw the line out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Go fishing. <laughs> These are the guys that fish on the Santa Monica Pier. Like, you know you're not going to catch good fish. Right. But you're still going to, I'm going to throw the line. See, I know the straight version of happening. that guy well. Because, I've, <laughs> you know, I'm a guy. And I've sure. been in high school and college. And you always have that friend, even into your 20s, I would say, who's like, he just compliments every woman. Yes. And you're like, Jesus, this incessant complimenting. Yeah. But he it does works. it because every once in a while it gets yeah. something going. Girl, I love you, girl. You're more more beautiful than I remember one of my friends. All stars going, in the sky, uh, girl. He would be like <laughs> he would say well, he would say this to girls when we were in public. Oh no. I was always the fucking recluse just staring down, yeah. you know, just not antisocial. Yeah. And he would go he would go, uh, how you doing? Or she would be like, Oh, I'm good. How are you? He's like, I'm better now that I'm talking to you. Oh boy. Yeah. He's like now the whole night's making sense that I met you. <laughs> Shit like that, right? Like, oh. Yeah, but like how many of those girls we're like, oh my God, you're so some, sweet. Some, he hooked up with a number of them. Of course. Yeah, but it would be a certain type of girl, if you know what I mean. A broken kind? Well, just one who's like, I'm down to fuck over some compliments. <laughs> yeah, I'm broken. Yeah. DTF. Yeah. 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 I'm guessing that's interesting because he. But know, I would say this. And I, you know what? I don't like that. Here's game. what I like, though. Here's what I do like about him. He had success, and it wasn't over this this negging bullshit of like make sure you take her down to get. I her. hate that shit. That's too. a tactic. I don't, I don't even feel comfortable around that tactic. When That's I, like, gross. When I hear guys do that, I know it works. It works to the insecure girl. I I was amused by my friend who would do. He would always do the positive spin. He would make like a, a seven feel like a ten. You know. Right. And look, it worked. A few times work. a guy had tried it, that negging stuff on me, oh, I don't and like I'd be like, shit. "Ugh!" I'm like, "Get the fuck out of here!" It made bro. me physically uncomfortable, even as somebody not involved in doing. Well, it, I remember one time the guy was said that to me, and I, I literally, he, I forget even what he said. Like, I don't know, you, I don't, I remember how, but I remember being approached that way and just yeah. being like, "Ugh!" Yeah, who the fuck well, are you, my? Well, that's what not what they're you, expecting. Bro. They want the girl to go like, "Oh yeah." Wait, I should wear my hair up. Oh. And I do like the positive approach. I'd rather have a guy. Of course, be like, it's of better. It's better now that you're here, girl. Yeah, he was ridiculous. He was so ridiculous. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Of course, you know who I'm talking about. Can I tell you though? He had a, had a pretty good batting average. He did he's, because he's sweet. He's attractive. Yeah, he's he means no harm, and no. that's why that works on works. some people. He was just like girl, girl, girl. My whole my whole life's changing right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous. You're in my heart. Yeah, for real though. Yeah, for real though, girl. Like a boy band, huh? God, they always so saying like that. You don't deserve to be in a place. Like you deserve a better place. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get you out of here. Like kind of Joe's tactic of him being like, "You said you're gonna leave with your your ex boyfriend." Exactly. Don't do that. Don't uh, don't look back. Joe knows. Don't look back. Well, I'll tell you one thing about this guy too. This guy right here. I don't. Yeah. Think, I don't think he can host the Oscars. <laughs> can, can you believe it. that shit? Oh, can God. you fucking even believe? Gay person. 
No. How how nonsense is all this? How much how much further is this going to go before somebody I don't stops? Know. The, the hysteria keeps growing. It, it is hysteria, it's, by the way. It is at a new level. If you don't know, um, I'd be surprised. But Kevin Hart was tapped to host the Oscars. Then they uh, pulled up some eight and nine and maybe even ten year old tweets. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and they're like, these are homophobic, anti gay. And it was things like, oh, here's let me give you one of them. Is uh, if I came home and found out my son was gay, I'd break a dollhouse over his head. Hilarious, and right? And they're like, implying that he like, plays they're with like, dolls. They're like, you're gonna violently attack your son. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. What makes me the craziest about all this stuff? I mean, a lot of it does. Is when people pretend because they're pretending. Yeah, they pretend like they don't get what part of these statements are jokes. That right. that's what makes me the craziest. Like right. or, or what part of it when they pretend to misinterpret it. You know, right. like they did it with Norm MacDonald when he did the uh his interview where he was like, Yeah, so I hooked up Roseanne with Louie because they're the only two people that have been through something like that. And they're like, What do you mean been through something right. like that? There's victims here. And it's like <laughs> right. Yeah, but not the media you understand yeah. what he was saying. You don't need an explanation. Right. And you're purposely out pur purposely pretending to be outraged because that's a thing to do now. Yeah. And you have your target, but you know exactly what he meant. You know that he meant here are two people that lost everything in a day and probably only know what that feels like. Of together. course. And, and you're right. Not irrespective of, of the other of, of, Obviously. Obviously. Right. And then with Kevin's thing, it's like, so him threatening... To break a dollhouse over his young right, call, son's call head child services is uh, because he found out he's gay. Like it might be fun, not be funny. It might be hacky. It might be like tasteless, funny. but or whatever. But you're gonna act like, hey, he's probably gonna really uh, hurt his son because he's <laughs> like, like that. That's so exhausting that I have to because I know that even if you are outraged, that you know that that's a joke. Yeah. So now we're doing this improv. In public together, where I'm going to acknowledge that I th that I understand your outrage now. Right. I under I understand what you mean because right. he really shouldn't hurt his son for saying that he's going to be gay. That's, well, that's and really also Kevin has apologized already. That was his point. And secondly, he's already addressed it. It's the corporations who acknowledge these. First of all, if you talk to the average person on the street. I yeah. don't see anybody outraged. I, I don't think most people give a shit. It's these weird marginal groups, I guess, on the Internet that are coming after these corporations. And then the corporations kowtow to this lunacy. So if the wh whoever's hiring Kevin just goes, oh, really? You're upset? Too bad. Kevin Hart's our guy. Yeah. Instead of like exactly appeasing these dummies. Well, that's why. It's ridiculous. You really got to celebrate Kevin for not of doing Of course. It. And also... So. You know what's happening too, I think, is a lack of context. Like what you're saying is that people are taking things out of context. It's kind of the way we read tweets. You only read a hundred and whatever characters and completely out of context of space and time. It's like it's like a comedian's doing, you know, anti wife jokes or whatever the fuck in the fifties. You're gonna hold all those guys responsible or uh, yeah. It's just silly. I mean, exactly. Like ten years is a big difference. It really is. It is in I this mean, era. For sure it is. For sure it is. I mean, when when he made that tweet, like, you know, like again, it could be tasteless and not not funny or kind of offensive, but like it's a different time. It's before we had yeah, legalized gay marriage, <clears throat> you know. What so his tweet, okay, here's the, yo, if my son comes home and tries to play with my daughter's dollhouse, I'm going to break it over and set his head and say in my voice, stop, that's gay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then he, he was, he caught his son, his then three-year-old son having a gay moment he was not proud of. You should nip it in the bud, he said, in, in, in a 2011 routine. I remember that. They're just waiting. They're just waiting for you to get certain opportunities. Yes. And then yes. But here's the thing: you need somebody in Kevin Hart's position who literally doesn't need it. Like, there's sometimes oh, when yeah. you're tapped to host something like that where you're like, "This kind of put me out front again." Like, doesn't need it. Doesn't need it for the attention. Right. Doesn't need it for the promotion. Doesn't need it for the money. 
like they're lucky to have them, you know? And well, well. For, for you to be in that position and be like, I'm not going yeah. to do the apology thing, it's yeah. huge. We need more comedians to be like, I'm not fucking apologizing, fire me, go get Hannah Gatsby to do whatever the fuck you want her to do. I'm yeah. not doing it. Uh, he said, you know, it's come up before, which it has. He, he did, he addressed it in, in a, I think it was a Rolling Stone interview a he few years address, ago. Yeah, it's so stupid. Well, um, we need to stop apologizing as comedians. And also, I'm not sure the apology gets you anything anymore. Because you'll apologize, and then you're probably still going to get fired anyways. Yeah. So now apologizing it serves no purpose. I think we should do what, what Donald Trump is great at doing, which he never apologizes. Yeah. And that's actually a really smart move. He doesn't. He's so? like, oh, fuck you. Well, look at him. He gets away with murder Yeah. in the media, I'm saying, because he's like, no, fuck you. This is what I'm doing. And in a way, I respect that because it's like, okay, that's the tactic. Don't apologize. Because yeah. why are we rewarding these marginal uh, idiots who aren't who aren't uh, ex- understanding things contextually? It's just silly. It's this is absurdity. What's happening? It, it's totally crazy. It's, it's with... a fucking stupid witch hunt. It's a social justice warrior witch hunt. I'm just happy it's that the dumbest thing in the fucking world. Did. Now he did like after he um, stepped down, he sent out an apology. Like he like, hey, if I ever hurt anyone, I never meant to. Of, of course. But he did it on his terms after giving up the gig. He was like, I'm not going right. to do it on your terms. Um, but rest assured, I'm. Uh, there's no comedian. I've never met a comedian in the history of comedians whose intent is to hurt people's feelings. That's never the fucking intent. No, I know. That's not why anybody picks up a microphone and sacrifices everything in your life for a decade just to get paid a nominal amount of money to tell jokes to people, to hurt them. That's not why we do this, right, Tom? Yeah. Did you travel across the country and go into severe debt for a decade, miss birthdays, holidays, New Year's, everything, to make people pissed off? That's why you did comedy, right? To offend gay people, to God forbid... It's just the stupidest fucking thing in the world. I don't know why they're coming after comics. It bothers me. I, I know. But I also like the gravity that people attach to aye, aye, aye. to the jokes, too. Like when people are like, you know aye, what? It's fucking dumb. We just... Dummies. We'll get, we'll get back on track. He just, we just need, you know, you got you to gotta be like, I screwed up there. I don't, yeah. I don't think you do. Here's what we're going to put on the death list. Remember we had the, 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 the person uh, we're going to execute the, who listened to videos loudly or make... Yeah. Calls loudly? Yeah. It's in my act. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I have a list of people I'm, I want to kill, and it's going to go, this is going to be the next. People who don't understand yeah. fucking jokes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It's 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 embarrassing. It really is embarrassing. It's embarrassing that <sighs> that the culture has evolved to that point, you know, that um, yeah. that everyone, because you know what it is also that, that's really annoying is that it's selective outrage. So- if you're going to attack Kevin Hart for past tweets and things said, it's not fair that it's just about gay stuff. You got to get it. You got to get it all. Otherwise, you're you're not being fair. You're being biased. Right. right. I mean, hasn't he probably, I don't know, made fun of uh, people, I don't know, different Women, races, Women, little people. Yeah, sure. We all have. It's all in the catalog. So, but why, I mean, why is this the only thing to be outraged by? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta be outraged by all of it. There's so many great comedians that have made fun of all these things. It's horrible. All these things. And that really is why podcasting is the most amazing thing because you have no boss. Nobody can tell you anything. No, and our audience our audience gets it. I mean, it's clearly because we talk about the stuff, we make fun of everything and I know, but I just I really want to salute Kevin Hart for doing that. He's like, I'm not playing the game. No, that's stupid. I'm not playing the game. Good for him, yeah. Um, and, so yeah, yeah, yeah. last night we did something we've never done, Gene. Yeah. We went to the Lakers, Los Lakers. Los Lakers, homie. We set it up with our, uh, it was actually, we were treated by our agent, Agent Jeans. Mm-hmm. And Agent Jeans came, uh, took us to the game, and we saw a great game. We saw LeBron, Dwayne Wade play, and the last time they'll face each other. Or at least last time Dwayne Wade would play at Staples. He's retiring at the end of the season. And, you know, seeing a legendary player in person. And here's the thing that I was thrilled by. My wife fucking always rolls her eyes at sports, hates most of the sports. And she was like, we got to go to a Laker game again. You had a good time. I love it. I like basketball. 
I grew up playing basketball here and there. I grew up playing basketball. No, I mean like I was tall as a girl. Yeah. And so I actually was decent at playing Look basketball. At you. Yeah. I, I didn't play it. You know, I couldn't like believe that. it. You're like, that's a traveling call. I was like, how the <laughs> fuck? Where have you been? <laughs> it's the one thing I know. I so like we're going to go to a basketball game again. Yeah. I like tennis too. We can get tennis tickets. I don't know what the fuck. Tennis tickets. Los, I, you know what? Los Lakers. Los Lakers. You know what I love most about the Laker game though? Yeah. It's the audience. Yeah. When they put the camera on like the dude who, it just made his fucking year it to did. be up on the Jumbotron and he's like, oh, fuck, it's me. I'm on fucking TV. Like, it's yeah. the best moment. They lose their shit. They go nuts, dude. They just love it. But we saw, I mean, that was a, it was down to the wire that game. And we saw yeah. amazing, play, I mean, everything from just beautiful basketball, you know, like a, something just really coming together, pass, pass, pass. We saw amazing passes. We saw kind of blooper plays. We saw alley oops. You saw guys driving in the hole, beautiful threes, and it was back and forth, back and forth. It was it was like a high drama. Well, you sound like an announcer with all those. Well, I mean, we just got sayings. to see so many cool aspects of the game. It was actually a really good game. And uh, yeah, and I've never seen a game live. Like I've never been to Staples Center. Actually, I'm embarrassed yeah. to say. Well, this is an interesting thing because somebody wrote in, oddly enough, an email about something that I wanted to bring to your attention. Okay. Okay. Somebody wrote in, I have a question for the mommies. It says, actually, hey, Theodore and Caroline, I have a question for the mommies. <laughs> Caroline, and yeah, that's yeah. really morphed now. I'm watching the Florida State basketball game right now with my oh. man, and I see how demonically tall number 21 <laughs> Kumaji is. I tell him, I bet he can't do a lot of things like ride in a car, take a group picture, fit in a shower, get on a plane, etc. The first thing he says, meaning her man to, to her is, I bet his dick is huge. Yeah. I yeah. told him he is gay and to go jack his friends off in four strokes. <laughs> and he said, that is every man's first thought yeah. when they see a really tall guy. Is this me is this true? Are all men a little gay inside? Love to all my mothers. Keeping it high and tight from Kansas, Lauren. Well, Lauren, <laughs> I got to tell you something. Your man is 100% correct. <laughs> the first thing I think about when I meet most guys is I wonder how big his dick is. Is that true? No, but definitely a huge guy. Well, when I see a bunch of big dudes running back and forth on the court, that is first what I think of, and then I compare their dick sizes in my head. Yeah. And I think LeBron's got the biggest dick. Just because he's the king of basketball? Big dick energy. Oh, he's got a lot of big dick energy. Yeah. But I don't know if, I mean, it's kind of hard to, here's the guy that she was talking about. Okay. okay? This guy right here. God damn. Yeah, he's got a huge one. He's 7'4". That's crazy. Yeah. They're seven giants, these four. guys. I mean, yeah, these guys are big. Look at this. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you look at his leg, his, probably, his dick's probably right around here. You mm -hmm. know? Do you Oof. think his balls are big in proportion to his penis, or it's just a long dick and then normal size balls? Do you know um, what I mean? Like, do the balls get bigger, too? Yeah, I think so. I think the balls proportion. I don't think it'd be like... A 10 inch dick and then little <laughs> tiny balls. No, I think it's probably proportionate. Yeah. Do you want to know something crazy, Gene? What? I had a dream last night that you and I were doing it. Uh huh. But that you had a big black dong. Isn't what? that crazy? Like you were you, you were Tom colored. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> and then your, but your dong was like a big black one. And I swear it's because mm -hmm. I was watching the Lakers and Jesus I was like, Christ. dude, there's not one white guy on this team, right? So there's like, like, there's no Larry Bird you're anymore. You're just like, black dick, black dick, black yeah, dick. Yeah, the whole time I was like, were you thinking look at all these... about black dicks? Most no, but I, I, it was, must have been an unconscious. tell me. No, it was an unconscious. I'm under the table now. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> were you? No. Or you're like, ah. Oh. No, I've never dated a black guy know, in my you, life. Were you sitting there at the game? <laughs> Licking my chops? Pass the ball, pass the ball. <laughs> like but I was thinking, you know what I was thinking? Because they run fast. I know what you were thinking. What's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah. And you know in those loose shorts, their yeah. dongs flop. Well, no, they ha they wear tight compressions underneath those. Oh, they do? Oh, of course. Otherwise, well, it would be just be a dick and ball fest. That's what I was thinking about. For sure. Is how do they run with their dicks They swinging. wear tight compression shorts. Yeah. Their dicks are a real issue. Sprinters, too. Sure. They have big old dicks and balls. Sure. And they have to tuck them away. Sometimes, right. sometimes you see them flop and, and sprinting. 
That's what I'm saying. You yeah. see, because I've seen guys playing basketball like in high school. Well, th- those and those dicks, like, they no, swing and they flop, and you yeah, see them. But yeah. in the pros, their their dicks are too big and their balls are too <laughs> floppy, and they wear compression shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd just be dicks everywhere. Can you imagine? Yeah. What their dick and balls smell like after a game? It probably smells stinky. Yeah, yeah. especially for telling me they're God, wearing. You're just fingering yourself with this <laughs> stuff at night, huh? Or um, are you just like trying to go to bed like, like oh, black cock, like that? <laughs> no. Come on, just tell me. Wait, let's talk about this. The compression. Tell me. The compression pants. Are they porous or are they sweaty? So it's probably not good for your junk. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. It, for sure, it's not that breathable. I'm sure. Yeah, so your dick and balls probably smell really bad after. A yeah, game. yeah. That's. It's a really interesting detail to bring up. Your dick and balls probably do smell really bad after a game. Maybe we can get some confirmation. Anybody play on the NBA? Any any NBA players out there want to confirm what your (laughs) dick and balls smell like after a game? I'd like to know. Now, I grew up in the era of Shaquille and Kobe. Mm -hmm. And I never, unfortunately, I never got to see them live play. I did watch the games on television. I saw Jordan play live three times. Who? Michael Jordan. Oh, Jordan. I saw. But he's on the Bulls, wasn't he? On the he was on Chicago the Bulls. Bulls. I he was. I got to see Shaquille play. Yeah. Um, that guy's massive. I got to see him play early in his career when he played for Orlando. I went to games there. Orlando. Yes. Hey, Shaquille probably has a huge dick in. Well, balls. there's been stories. It's interesting you bring that up. <laughs> it's it's interesting that you bring that up because what happened was there were many <laughs> stories about the fact uh-huh. that. Chaquile, Chaquile was this enormous man, seven one. Yeah. You know, at some at, shit now he's probably three fifty. But you know, he played in his prime at he was seven one, just over three hundred. Damn, homie. and just gigantic, a giant human being. Yeah, and there was like some some hoes, you know, some like video hoes and stuff that were like his dick ain't all that. That his dick was not proportionate to what you were seeing. Again, what might be happening is that this guy is so big, right, that you're expecting a fucking tree yeah. trunk to fall out. And it might be actually big compared to any average size guy. Right. But not big compared to what you're looking at, meaning Proportion. Meaning He's him. not proportionate. So maybe he has an eight-inch dick, which is definitely above average, but you're like, I thought this thing was going to be 16, you know? Yeah. That's what I would expect from Shaquille. Would you tell him that? If you met him? Yeah. Wouldn't you want to see it if you met him? Yes. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I want, who was it? I didn't did... know you had so many Blackhawk fantasies. Oh, please. Oh, please. Now, who is it? Was it Magical Johnson there last night? <laughs> no, no, the other he guy. He probably was there. What's his name? The old, the, the, the oh, old Kareem. ass Laker. Kareem. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He was there, yeah. He's a shit. Now, I grew up watching him as a kid because he they, they used to wear the short shorts back then. I picture his dick polite kind of. Um, Kareem's? Yeah. No. It's an, it's an assaulter. You think so? It's a so? big hog. I bet you Kareem's got the biggest dick of, of all of them. Really? Just because he's long and lean. Well, they're all long and lean. Not Shaquille. Shaquille's meat and cheese. I he's know. He's tall and he's meat and cheese. Yeah, but He's built like most, a football player. Most basketball players are lean, long and lean. Yeah. Like the Harlem Globetrotters, yeah. they all have long, lean ones. How do you know this? I don't know. My mom dated them. I swear to God. All of them? I don't know. She she had she dated a few of them. What? Yeah. My she mother, dated a I, few? I promise you, when she came to this, the country... She was cute, blonde, big tits, and she worked over at Universal. God. I swear to God. And one day I was going through her belongings, and she had all these signed oh my God. autographed <laughs> pictures. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I'm trying to tell you a fucking story. I'm trying to listen to the story. Go ahead. You're saying that's my mom? <laughs> <laughs> With the Globetrotters. <laughs> yeah. So she had all these signed. I don't think it would be easy. All yeah. these signed pictures of the glo- Globetrotters. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all are like, to Edith, you know, you're the best. Da, 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 da. And I was like, how the fuck did you get all these pictures of these globetrotters? It's so random. She goes, well, I knew them. I was friends with them. I went friends out on a couple them. of dates. I was like, you couple what? Couple of dates. Couple of ding dong dates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Thank you. Okay. All right. You are so nasty. Okie dokie. Okay. All right. <laughs> Now, remember Curly? Curly was a short one. Yeah. 
Now, do they still have the Harlem Globetrotters? Yeah, they, they still do their thing. Tour? Yeah. yeah. That would be fun. We should see them next. Yeah. Anyways, this is my new favorite thing, or going to Laker games. I'm I'm huge. Right. I'm huge into it. Cool. I got my glasses of white wine. I got yeah. two glasses of Chardonnay last night. I had a pretzel. Yeah. So it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Now there was a fucking asshole next to us who was loudly rooting for the other team. And it fucking so disrespectful. Jackass, man. He was like really rooting for them. And I was I like, know. motherfucker, you're in LA, bitch. Sit down. He was wearing like a fucking suit like a douchebag. Um like, get out of here, man. You know, it was funny. Last week, my one of my favorite moments when we had done again on was when you and I just looked at each other when he said I know uh, what you're gonna say. You know? He was like, uh I know what you're gonna say. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this right. I know what he did. I know. I know what he did. But it's okay with Christine. <laughs> right? I know. What the fuck? But it's okay with Christine. And yeah. I, can I tell you I just So Tom, I'm how much but it's okay with Christine. <laughs> Christine. <laughs> and I've been getting emails of people people who've known me for years are like, Hey Christine, I'm like, What is happening? What's going on? I know, and then uh, the absolute lowest you would take. Be real. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, real. I'm saying let's really be realistic. Chris yeah, Christina doesn't find out about her. No, no, yeah. Christina. Yeah, so he he did go get it right. He there. corrected. Yeah. Do you think he remembered, or he heard me say it? Maybe. Maybe yeah. I said like Christina, and he was like, oh. "We got to ask him." Yeah, but he definitely did a Christine. Oh, he hard Christine. Hard Christine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Christine. Mm hmm. Yep. Uh, okay. This is one of my favorite things. I usually don't bring this stuff up. Uh, uh, to people who uh, do it because I think you've told me uh, it's too mean. You're like, you're oh, going to really hurt no. them. What? Which is, well, when people are like, dude, you look just like my friend or brother or dad <laughs> or husband and you're like, look at the photo and you're like, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. You uh, you just showed me a guy with a beard and they're like, no, 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 no. You guys are twins. Yeah. And so, but now when it's a friend who does that, you can be like, oh, I can call him out. So Brendan Schaub, <laughs> posted yeah, this last that, week not... hey fun fact did you know my barber is Tom Sakura's Mexican brother and then here's the guy don't <laughs> I look just like him <laughs> no Shab well I put fun fact did you know that Brendan Shab has experienced severe head trauma <laughs> and doesn't know what his friends look like because I felt like he was the first person that I could really lay into for this thing I know Brendan it's not that's just a guy with a beard that's always what it is that's always what it is i would say <laughs> one out of a hundred of these yeah. that i get is it somebody that i remotely look like i mean <laughs> hey this guy's got a beard and eyebrows is that yeah. these are twins oh you mean like oh yeah i see it we have a nose <laughs> like what are you talking about this is not you at all here at all here's some other guys i look uh, just like <laughs> there you go well, that guy's, yeah, beard, okay. And he has short hair. He's got short hair, but that's okay. really it. He looks like James Gandolfini, this guy, more. Um, How about that this guy? guy? <laughs> no. What are you talking about? Look at it. We both have lips, right? <laughs> and then we have different eye colors, but we, our, our head is, is round no. at the top. Uh, and his beard is a lot fuller than yours, I'd say. There's another guy. That guy... <laughs> no, okay. you're talking... That's twin. That guy's that's my, so old. That's he's, my twin. <laughs> he's like 60, that guy. Oh, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> There he is. That guy's not. That looks just like me. Not like him. We have beards. He got, got a left ear. I got a left ear. You have, no. Look. <laughs> you see it now? He's got shoulders. You've got shoulders. I've got shoulders. Oh, there I am. No. No, yeah. that guy's a famous actor, but. And he looks just like me. No. Yes. <laughs> yes, he does. Here's another guy. Look at him. <laughs> see that is beard? Is he on the Lakers? Do you realize how many people, too, send, <laughs> send me... They send me, they're like, I'm going to freak you out right now. Like, <laughs> you're about to lose your mind. I just no. realized, and it's either like, I either saw your doppelganger, <laughs> or they'll be like, my husband or my dad or my, is your twin. And it's basically Idris Elba. Like, they're like, oh, see? I love Idris Elba. They're like, see? Looks just <laughs> like you. I'm like, no, it I doesn't. do like his black on black on black ensemble well, yeah you're talking about that looks suit dope that yeah looks great but yeah. i'm talking about that people no i know that, i get it <laughs> but you know what i didn't want to be selfish so i also wanted to point out some people that you look just like <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, i like that one yeah that's not not i do not look Here's like you. angelina There's yeah you. that girl does look like me i could see that it's, uh, except i don't i have brown eyes christy Christy, yeah. Has someone sent this in? Is I like don't know. this looks like Christina. I just, I just pull, had them pull some. Um, yeah, that girl could be me, blonde. I mean, but that's 
You think you're twins? No. 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 I look way more Eastern European. There you are. No. That's you on the left. That is you. On the left? Sure. That, <laughs> doesn't, that girl's just blonde. Yeah. It doesn't look a thing like me. I, don't, I think you're starting to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you uh, are. That girl's a slutty blonde. See, I'm a different kind of blonde. I have low lights in my hair. And uh, then there's girls who only have the blonde. Well, those I don't know. Are, those I mean, don't look the same. She's holding a child, and you're obsessed with the uh, <laughs> Blackhawks of the NBA. <laughs> there you are. There I am. God. What That's, size are those milkers, you think? I don't know. It's G's. Pretty good. Those are bad. Big ones. Yum, yum, yum. Ugh. I wouldn't mind taking a okay. bath. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. So. Do you dream about big black boobs? Um, I've I've dreamt about all types of of sized tits and asses and everything. I my ass is terrible. No, it's not. It's disgusting. Jesus. It's always been disgusting though. There's um There's things farts. really developing in uh this sector. Good morning, Julia. Oh man, you're um, telling me. Oh my goodness. So God. it has grown and grown, and we're so thrilled about that. <laughs> Lots of photoshops, <laughs> artwork. Obviously, it's um, really exploded. Actually, the shirts were a hit. You guys uh, as were asking for, and we put them out. They were such a hit that I have socks coming next week. <laughs> um, those are Good Morning Julia socks, and I, and I did uh, the small and larger ones because I know that women uh, would want some. But it's been it's it's the hit of the century. Good morning, Julia. I mean, look, we never know. You never really know no. what resonates with the but audience. But I'm so happy when it's shit like this. Me too. Yeah. There's something so pure about this whole thing with Julia and Joe. Yeah. And it's and just... the fact that we got to meet Julia. I you know. know. I've been texting. I mean, she... <laughs> so let's, first of all. She's let's go fit. full throttle. She's let's, let's go full throttle with this. Um, she, yeah, she's full awesome. Full throttle. You're not saying it right. Full throttle. Uh, so there's been, more people are sending in their unique <laughs> Uh, good morning, Julia. So let, me, let me play you some of these first. Oh, I love okay. these more than life. Good morning, Julia. It's me, Joe. I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> it's a kid. It's a kid. <laughs> um, here's uh, another good lady. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> anyway, yesterday was the best day of my life. You know, you see this? You see that? <laughs> I built all that with my bare hands. You know what else I'm going to do with my bare hands? I'm going to choke the shit out of you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to put you in my backyard. Don't go back with that ex. I'm going to fucking kill him too. Put him in the backyard. Okay? Good morning. I love you. Good morning. There you go. Good morning, That's Julia. Emma. Good morning, Julia. Here's hey, me. it's me, Joe. Just want to say, hope you're having a great day. Yeah. Fuck. Uh. Sorry about that. Just want to say, been at Pornhub for about three or four hours today. Really going full throttle. Thinking about you. So open up your heart and I hope to hear from you. Oh. Uh, the kiss so is always creepy. what gets me. Yeah, he tripped over a fan there. He, he had a floor. He fan did. <laughs> you know what I love when he goes, uh, because I there's different parts of Good Morning Julia that I fixate on every now and then. Yeah. But I what I've been hearing in my head lately is open up your heart and your arms to yeah. me. Yeah. Like uh, that that one. Yeah, you start you start um, <laughs> having that loop play. <laughs> different loops will play. Yes. Yeah, I get that too. What are you looping? <laughs> Um, open up your heart and your arms to yeah, me. Heart and arms is a big one. <laughs> open up your heart because it's also like open your heart, and then he's like, and uh, like and the, your the, arms. the choice of words, yeah, yeah, is it's very odd, you know. <laughs> open up your heart because because I thought it, at first I thought it was open up your heart in your arms. Oh, and then I'm like, oh no, he's saying and your arms. and your arms, and it's also like he was saying like be sweet, but he's like also be physical. Correct. Because that's really what correct. He's like, and that's open up your heart, yes. which is an emotional thing, and your legs. But also, yeah, he meant to say open up your heart and your legs, yeah. and whatever's in between your legs. Yes, I'll open that up for you. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right because on on the surf i love this analysis you're yeah, right tom yeah. on the surface it's like this charming just open up your heart yeah but then he layers in the and hypersexual you know it was his brain uh, he didn't even he wasn't even able to stop his brain from doing right. that because that's every man even like when a man is like let me get the door for you you know he's thinking let me open your legs for you yeah exactly <laughs> yeah you guys are horrible people. They're Men just, are horrible just, people. Just wired for this. Yeah, but you guys are terrible. It's That's true. terrible. That is true. Is there ever a time when you're just a normal, not sexual? I think on your way out when you're dying. Yeah. Like 80. Yeah. I think no, that's, that's when they get even perverted again. George Bush was slapping. David Copperfield. Anyway. Yeah. 
Yeah. Open up your heart and your, and your arms. Good morning, Julia. It's, it's me, Garth. <laughs> Uh, I have to say, oh. meeting you last night at my, my big ass stadium tour and <laughs> watching you get physical with my music. One of the best days of my life. And uh, I know you said you wanted to get back together with your ex, but uh, me and Miss Yearwood would love to go full throttle with you down here uh, at Studio G. <laughs> I wrote all my own songs from Rodeo to Two of a Kind, to Thunder Roll, all the way down to Friends in Low Places. And uh, I'll write you any song you want, Julia. Just uh, come to as many shows as you can. You know, you're my flower. You're my flower. <laughs> And the kisses. Uh. In low places, Tommy killed again. And left no traces in the Daniel Slay. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's really neat about this guy is that he meshes two of our favorite things yeah. together. Garth and Joe. <laughs> two greatest guys of all time. Joe Brooks. Yeah. What a nightmare. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> I know you like a strong man, not like your ex-boyfriend. I just wanted to show you the ceiling fan and, and show to you how strong this ceiling fan is. Oh, and God. Demonstrate oh shit. You, Julia, oh, my God. So we can, when you and what I, the when we go full throttle, Julia, I think <gasps> oh. it's time for you to really take things serious. Oh, this my God. how strong my love is for you. There's nothing wrong with it, Julia. There's nothing wrong. Ciao, baby. Wow. That was scary. I wow. don't want people hurting themselves. He walked for his these. head into that fan. He's he's experienced with that fan. Okay. He knows that fan is not. He knows kill the him. capabilities. Yeah, he does. He's done that for fun before. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good morning, Julia. Oh God, it's so uh, hard to watch these. So even. it's not cool that you call the cops on me. <laughs> I keep running. They keep finding me. I had this field here that I, I built for you. It was gonna be where our house was gonna go. Now I might have to, you know, bury you in it. But uh, I gotta go. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah, mwah, ah, uh, the mwah. Julia, <laughs> More children. playing with you at school was the best day of my life. <laughs> Let's go full throttle. <laughs> Ciao. Oh, that's cute. Let's go full throttle. That's Devin, couple more. Julia. Hi, hi. Julia, don't leave me. <laughs> I finally found you. <laughs> Julia, we can't do this here, Julia. Julia. <laughs> I, fa- I got you Goth's greatest hits, Julia. <laughs> Julia, please. Julia, fuck. Julia. Mwah, ciao. <laughs> Man. I love the mwah, ciao, chasing kissing it. him. This is chasing kissing. a vehicle, too. <laughs> I know, kissing the... Kissing, mwah. kissing after her is amazing. Jesus. Here's a... Uh, I love man. you, Julia. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> Windmills. <laughs> I just wanted to send you a little message and tell you that Meeting with you was was one of the one of the best uh, few minutes of my life. Uh, right. You know, something's been sitting heavy on my mind. Uh, when when you mentioned something There's about wanting it. to get back with your ex, don't with look in the past. Ex. Believe me, I know, I know. Don't look in the past. Oh God! See these see these fans back here. <laughs> I built these fans. fans. <laughs> every 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 square inch of them, and and never and never look back. Let's go full throttle. Ciao. Mwah. <laughs> Yeah. There's a crown mold in to the ceilings. This hand gesturing too that he does the yeah. crown mold to the ceilings. He's like, I did all, I did this, all shit. this shit right here, Julia. There's even <laughs> Christmas Julia submissions. Oh no. Yeah. I Good morning, I, Julia. Hold on, hold on. When I was at the grammar seat. Good morning, the, oh. Julia. It's me again, Joe. Uh, look, I just wanted to let you know I heard what you had to say on the Todd and Christine podcast. <laughs> it was one of the best moments I've ever had. <laughs> And I wanted to get you a gift in the light of the holiday season. The basket I built. The wine I built. The pine cones I built. These Christmas tree trimmings come from a non-disclosed location somewhere in North Central. Um, I call it the Cabin of Terrors, and I share it with uh, Josh Potter. So, um, I wish you the merriest of holiday seasons, and I hope you enjoy Christmas full throttle. Uh, uh. She managed to get creepy too. Yes, I know. I think it's oddly. It, I think women tap into something. Yes. That guys. Yes. Because the guys you believe, and then you really see like that the woman. Yeah. Is flipping what she's experienced before. Yeah. <laughs> so this is because we've all had the guy, the Joe, in Jesus our lives. Jesus, Mary. You know, it's funny when I was a when I was meeting fans after my second show at Gramercy Theater. I meet fans just because I'm a personality champ. Like people Ugh. like my personality. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Some guy. Some guy goes, "We built this theater for you." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, God 
God damn it, I love this thing. Open up, you hot. And yams. And yams. <laughs> yeah. There's another one. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> it's me, Joe. She's got the beard. Uh, just wanted to say hi. I can't stop thinking about you and your beauty. Also, I just wanted to show you I built us a little gingerbread house. Oh. Everything you see here, I built. <laughs> we got a little gingerbread Julia. Yeah. And a little gingerbread Joe. That's that's the other thing. This is, is amazing. Is emphatically making it clear. Yeah. That because and he also what he <laughs> says in that video he says every, uh, you you know everything you see here I built and then he goes everything. that's the kind of man you're getting right so he's letting you know <laughs> like you're getting a fucking guy that's more than handy right I can I can really. I can build you a home. You're getting a lot of free stuff here. Here's the trade. Right, right, right. You know, we're gonna do have you want a better a home. house. Right. Yeah. I got. I can do all this stuff for you. You can make my babies. Yeah. And we don't have to pay a contractor. That's the best part. This is all free labor. Exactly. I am a contractor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leaning on me because we got to lean on, on each other for support. <laughs> <laughs> On me that's too much. And a little gingerbread Joe. I love this. That's you leaning on me. Because we got to lean on each other for support, Julia. <laughs> I also built a little room. Even the eyes. I, I love this. This way, one might be my favorite. This... Looking at you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we got. that's the message. We got to support each other. Like being the so serious over, about the it. The overkill. Oof. Yeah. This girl's my favorite. Gingerbread house <laughs> that we can hide all of the dead bodies in. Maybe your ex-boyfriend. I really think that we should go full throttle. <laughs> if you don't agree, I might be stabbing myself in the heart with a candy cane. <laughs> That's Kelsey. I, Kelsey, I love you. And I love your facial hair. The yeah, goatee is goatee horrendous. Really nice His touch. goatee is in the 90s, too. Yeah. Joe is also not fashionable. Yeah. That's pretty good. Ugh. God. Ugh. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> Just wanted to say hello. It's the Grinch. Yeah. And, uh, I tell you that meeting you yesterday. Makes some full makeup. It's probably the best day of my life. Look at that. Anything it's that uh, you see behind you, I made with my bare hands, <laughs> including that child. That's the kind of guy you're gonna get. Yeah. When you deal with me. So. That's the kind of guy you're gonna get. I love you, Julia. Have a uh, have a merry Christmas. I love you, Julia. <sighs> Ciao. See ya. That's that good makeup. That's amazing makeup. The guy's dressed like the Grinch I for mean, real. He's, he's performing. Yeah, somewhere. he's clearly a performer. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Including this child. Hey, Julia. <laughs> oh my God. Just as a reminder, this holiday season, I'm watching you. <laughs> He's the elf on the shelf. The elf on the shelf. Good morning, Julia. Another fan <laughs> is Andre Andrew. It's Christmas time, Julia. <laughs> I want to let you know, Julia. I built this for you because I'm very, very good at building things. <laughs> I built this See? gingerbread house for you, Julia. I built it for you. <laughs> Please come. Please. I built it for you, Julia. Watch. Check it. Julia, check this out. That's what I do, baby. We can live in that gingerbread house if we want. I promise you that. <laughs> What's he doing? Putting lipstick on? He's putting on chapstick. A chapstick. I love you, Julia. <laughs> Mwah. Ugh. Merry Christmas, Julia. It's always well, the kiss that gets me at the end. Here's the thing, Gene, that yes. we've got to tell the audience. Yes. You, I think you sent me, no, she sent me a message and then she sent it to you, but she sent me a message when I was, we were going back and forth after last week and I was like, you know, you were great and she said she had fun doing the interview and, you know, some of her friends listen. She goes, oh. There is one more video. I was jamming with her on Instagram. Yeah. And I go, thank you for doing the show. You did amazingly. Just, the audience is going to love it. And she goes, well, just, you know, I have some other videos. I have to go check in my other phone. Give me a few hours. I'll be right back. And this is not a bit because I know people would who listen to this show regularly be like, they're setting us up for a joke. No. This is not a joke. No. So I, so on bated breath, I'm, I'm waiting at LAX airport to board a flight and I keep refreshing my I know, email. And you hit me up. <laughs> But when you tell me, that's what it was. You tell I was me, so excited. I, I like, messaged her Julia has a video. I go, Julia has a video. video? <laughs> and she's like, yes, I'm looking for it. And she said, um, she goes, my like after she got more comfortable with the craziness of it, <laughs> right, that her and her friends yes. hit him up once. So what it was, so she sent me two videos. 
And she goes, so my friends and I were kind of trying to bait him into making another video for us, for me, rather, for Julia. And this is what he sent. Yeah. Um, so they were trying to get him to be to act a fool a little bit more because like eventually she and her friends were just having a great time with it because it's you know mortifying. Yes, so this, oh, I'm so God. happy to be able to bring to you. This has never been seen anywhere else <laughs> except for Julia's phone. So that's maybe right. Joe's seen it, but <laughs> but that's it. Yes. So this is you know you've seen the first one, you've seen the one in the car the next day, my flower. <laughs> But this is actually. This is a YMH exclusive. 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 I'm so excited. This is. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't. I can't even handle it. The video that no one has seen. N never Joe, before seen Joe footage. Joe footage. Back to Julia. All right. Here it is. <sighs> See, I'm half asleep on the couch. <laughs> You're disappointed. You got me wrapped around your finger. Cute. But that's all you're getting. I'm exhausted. Ugh. Mwah. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, there it is. It's so gross on so many levels. It's a little more understated, though, than the other one. He's tired. And he's engaged. Now he thinks like there's a little something going on. Yeah. So he didn't have to be as put on. You know? But here's what I don't like about this one's more disturbing. Yeah. Because he's trying to be sexy. Yes. And he's like, ah, I'm just laying down here. Uh, uh, it's Pat Pat in the chest. Yeah. You're getting me all tired right now, Jules. Yeah. <laughs> like he's about to whip his peener out and he's about to frantically masturbate. Let's watch it again. Oh, no, I can't. See, I'm half asleep on the couch. Ugh. <laughs> <You're> disappointed. <laughs> you got me wrapped around your finger. Cute. <laughs> but that's all you're getting. I'm exhausted. Mwah. Always with the kisses. He's big on those kisses. He's like, and my favorite is the Ugh. playful laugh. <laughs> oh. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Mwah. Uh. <laughs> it's so cringe. You got me wrapped around your finger. Cause she's, I could, I imagine the dialogue being like, which will send fucking me. strangulate you, I promise. <laughs> Julia's like, send me another video, come on, please. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm wrapped around your finger. <laughs> he's like, Ugh. he did that like coy, yeah, like, yeah, sexy time. Like. That's <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like he's like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, send me another video. Yeah. Come on, try you know, try and bait him yeah. probably. Yeah, and did. then he was like. All right, but I'm gonna make it sexy. Like we this also, is sexual. Yeah, this, is kind of, this one is like, mm, yeah, yeah. It's like, ooh, I just got home. Yeah. I don't have a lot left in the tank. I'm all sweaty. But I'm thinking of you too. Mwah. Um, mwah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's dark in there. It's poorly lit. So he's like, I'm just laying in the dark. I feel like those are all things you you like you do to children, not to people you're romantically interested in. What do you mean the children? Go mwah like oh, that to yeah. a kid. Not to a you know, to a girl adult. you're serious about, like or want to be. Mwah. Hey, I'd like to take you out sometime. Mwah. <laughs> you got me wrapped around your finger. You say it to like a kid. Like, I'll do anything <sighs> for you. But like to say that to an adult is weird. It's so weird. <sighs> mwah. Ugh, um, ugh, how did she not but vomit? But just so you know, Julia herself also um, has had fun with this with her friends. Yes. So that's what we learned is that Julia's friends, all, like, you know, you guys have been <laughs> submitting these hilarious Julia videos. They've been doing, sending them to her. So she sent us a cut of that. A as compilation. Well. Yeah. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Julia. Morning, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> just want to say good morning, <laughs> Julia. Mwah. Mwah. <gasps> Mwah. Ciao, there's, baby. There's the good night, Joe. There she is. There's, there she is. There she is. There's that's Julia. Lovely Julia, right there. She's so pretty. Yeah, that's why Joe. Uh, oh, so for those of her. you just yeah. listening, yeah, we have Here Julia. Look, she's giving her. There she is. She's giving her. <laughs> Kiss and a heart. <laughs> Did a She's beautiful. And then says good night to Joe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ciao, baby. 
Good night, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a perfect end yep, to this whole it. thing. That is great. She's, so for those of you just listening, Julia is blonde. Mm-hmm. She's got long blonde hair, brown eyes, beautiful. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah. So there's that's, a reason There's Joe a reason she <laughs> followed her into a parking lot. <laughs> if you were imagining a pig, she is not. No, she's great. She's yeah. a sweet and lovely person. Yeah. That is so funny. And then uh, oh, that was here's, exclusive. here's Joe's next message. Oh, I'll make you come. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's what he wants to say of in course. this last video. I know. But he dialed it back to like, ha, 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 look at, look at what you've done ah, to me. <laughs> I miss you, Julia. Um, look at what you've done to me. What does this say right here? Someone said that in your my, arms. their boyfriend mixed up the flower delivery. Uh, he must be cheating with me on his sidekick. Julia, what's this mean? Well, I got a Christmas flower delivery. And I was thinking, wow, it's so beautiful. But <laughs> who is Julia? Oh! Good morning, Julia. <laughs> this is the kind of man you're getting. Let's go full throttle. <laughs> who is Julia? That's so funny. Hilarious. That's funny. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, <laughs> Um, all right, our guest is here. Why don't we step away for a moment and <laughs> look uh, what you've done to me? Come right back. You got me wrapped around your finger. We'll be right back. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Okay, we're back um, from our break. You never heard, and we are joined now by our, a guest, um, a a friend of ours, a comedian, a podcaster, an actor, a working actor. <laughs> <laughs> Not just one of some of those people who go, I'm an actor, a working voiceover <laughs> actor as yeah. well. Mr. Adam Ray, thanks hey, for coming. Hey, Adam Ray. I'm pumped to be here. Very former Wolverine. Former Wolverine. Is that right? Come on, let's not drop that stat. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, sorry. It's okay, yeah. man. I'm sorry. You know, let's. Uh, a lot of X Men characters don't get their. Oh, I thought you were talking about University of Michigan. My bad. Oh, sh- <laughs> I wish. My mom wishes. Yeah? Yeah. Like sports I- fan. Well, yeah, not that I wasn't a theme park character. That's true. Yeah. yeah. The beat is- oh, she- I didn't know that. Yeah. Not the Hollywood Boulevard, though. Like, actually inside the theme park. In the theme park. And not that I want to knock the guys that cruise the boulevard with, like, peanut butter shoes and stuff. It's a hard gig, I imagine. Those guys, I think, got it really bad because they're trying to, like... At at Universal, people know you're supposed to be there. That's right. At the boulevard, people are like, all right, Elmo, (laughs) I was looking to go check out, you know... Ripley's Believe It or Not, and now you're accosting me for six bucks. You know, how many people do you think are thrilled if they're at Hollywood Boulevard to see to see those people? They're like, oh, that's awesome. Because I see people. That's Elmo. Like, I I don't have to go to Sesame Street now. Yeah, they're kind of they're delusional. (laughs) They are. I saw a kid. They're two (laughs) delusional types meeting up. (laughs) They just cancel each other out, and nobody knows what the fuck's going on. I think so. I think they're probably really pumped. I think a lot of the tourists that go there are just like, they want to soak up every piece yeah. of that street. <sighs> Isn't it exciting hearing this voice in your ears? I know he's a gravel <laughs> chewer. So it's so good. Oh man, that's man. tequila and um, weed and wait, just X-Men stories. I feel like talk, I only um, have this voice after a rough night. You've got a deep voice though. <laughs> You've got like, a great voice by the way. But I was, Adams, he does when have a great I hear voice. Adams in the morning, like that, that level of bass he has, there's times where I wake up and I'm like, oh, I should do voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> like it sounds. He's you, got that Alec Baldwin Kind yes. Of deep, yeah. Lemon. Yeah. 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 Uh, shit. So wait. So you were a me- like a one of those costume people, and so what's the worst part about uh, we, that? We gig? prefer face character. Face but, character. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. And did you? I mean, how Facey. fucking you hot was it? Out of free tickets. What's that? <laughs> it was how, hot. It must have been so. She hot wore in this the like spandex, you know, muscly suit with the fake abs, the fake chops, the fake fangs. I actually went in there one summer. My boss, who was like a former Disney princess turned head of the characters. I won't say her name on this, Jenna, but she was like kind of <laughs> kind of the worst. And like because she kind of took it out, like just had a, a sense of entitlement. And she pulled me in one summer. And uh, and, you know, I uh, look, I could be in better shape. But at this time, I feel like I was in pretty good shape, <laughs> even for being a fake fucking theme park character. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, you're giving me fake abs. So you're all already telling me I don't got to do a ton of work on my own. But I was fine. And she pulls me in. She goes, hey, so um. I just, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're universal. People come in, they want to meet Captain America, Spider-Man, and, and Wolverine. I go, yeah, it's awesome, right? Fucking people think that we're the real people. This is crazy. And she goes, yeah, and you are. And so I just, it'd be great if maybe you just took a couple weeks off to just uh, firm up a little <gasps> bit. Just uh, what? tone what? up, just get those arms really Wolverine-y. I'm like, I don't even think that's a real term. Wolverine. Yeah. She's like, get a little, uh, you know, just jacked up. Oh, You've on. seen Hugh Jackman like that's so, uh I'm like... You know that um, 
like the guy who plays Captain America has a bumper sticker on his Escalade that says nobody's ugly after 2 a.m., right? <laughs> like none of us are the real guys. Right, right. right. But they just, uh, you know, there was this like, you know, attitude of like these kids think you're, and they did like, and I didn't know shit. Uh, like they would, you know, every other day, like, you know, what's Wolverine's favorite food? And I would always joke Aww. about this because I would just be like, to make characters laugh. And they were always chastised me for being, trying to be funny. They're like, Wolverine's not funny because they'd, they'd hear me being like, you know, what's Wolverine's favorite to- food? And I was like, potato salad and shit like that. <laughs> how, long, like, how long would you have this gig? Maybe four or five years. That's oh, a long that's time. A long this time. was yeah. This was after 2000 because I was a tour guide at Universal Studios first on the tram. Oh, yeah. that's that a cool was, gig. I like uh, that. I make up facts all the time. And this was like when you first got here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I got here in 2001. Went to acting school at USC, and then 2003, my sophomore year, I was like, I need a summer job. Um, and so tour guide was uh, cool. And I went to you know I went How with a buddy of mine fun. who wanted to do it. He was like, will you come with me just to the audition? And then he didn't get it. It was like his dream to like tell people that that's Jaws. That was like his dream. And, then and he you got it. it. But just so people know who've never been to Universal Studios, so they take you on a tram, and <laughs> the tram takes you through all the attractions at Universal. Uh, Desperate Housewives, yes. the Dolly Parton house. Uh, the Psycho House, the Psycho the Jaws. I like how I opened with Desperate Housewives. And they, <laughs> come to Universal Studios and see where Terry really Hatcher for <laughs> a blowjobs. Who gives a shit right yeah, did, you, a shit? did you get like... That's what I would say on the tour, too. Who in gives Japanese a tours. shit? Yeah. And E.T., the E.T. ride that was that's big. still there. And uh, the Wild Wild, no, not the Wild, there was, you know, the tank where Kramer swam in Seinfeld. Um, what else, dude? The, uh, do they what about the Red all? Sea? Wait, part of how, long, how long yeah, do they prep the you? Do they prep you? Oh, it was a in... three-week training course. They oh give you a God. binder, and I was in a fraternity in college at the time, oh. so I'd lock myself in my frat during parties and memorize you know, hours of material because you had to know all the facts for the certain stops and then if you got stalled in the summertime, like backed up, trams would get like six deep yeah, and you'd right. be waiting to go into the earthquake. You got five deep, so you'd have video clips. Oh, before they brought in video clips to play, you had to just have stall material. So that's when I would start doing stand-up and doing like bits oh, and just yeah. trying to be like, let me flex some of this open mic material on this. Uh, that's wow. And, uh, and you know, some of it will go over well. I love, by the way, the journeys of people, like all of us have it. Yeah. That... To try to do showbiz, yeah. Yes. You have, don't you like looking back and be like, "Of course, I was a Universal tour guy." Yes. Oh yeah, Wolverine. I was funny Wolverine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all these different. I was stops. a cop too. I hosted the Fear Factor live show there. Got projectile oh. vomited on. Said, "What wow. the fuck?" In front of twelve hundred kids. Oh, wow. What? My boss Wait. chewed me out. He's like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, twelve hundred kids got vomited on. Yeah, I go. What do you want me to say? Is that all you got? Bring it on. He's like, "You fucking yeah. said what the fuck?" Twelve hundred kids, and it was so funny too because like. It's such bullshit stunts. You're like, all right, when these guys, we're gonna put them up on these uh, be- these flat beams, and uh, and when I say go, and then the sound effect goes go goosh, the bottom <laughs> drops out, yeah. and then, but they're attached to this wire, so I'm yeah. like, but they're attached to a wire, and I started improvising one time. I go, so there's no real danger involved. So what are we actually doing here? And my boss is like, you can't keep vamping on the script. And so they would drop, and they're hanging, and then it's just like, who can hang the longest without right. freaking out? But then they have to eat actually a Fear Factor concoction like they would on the show, uh. and it'd be like, you know, I don't know, beaver twats and like pickle juice and, um, <laughs> uh, you know, old milk, and this one guy God damn it. just projectile vomited on me, and I'm literally facing the crowd, I go, come on, everybody, let's pump up the fear, or whatever the bullshit, you know, mm. give it up for Steve, and then he just, I remember turning back to him, and he just looked at me, and just, that was it, mm. and I was like, what the fuck, man, and I heard half gasp and half, like, laughter, um, oh. That's so, so, so that lasted how for much, a couple months. Can I ask you though, how much do you make doing the, the tram? Fifty-two fifty a show for the Fear Factor show. Oh. That's good. So it's, certain guys. That's actually really good. <laughs> certain guys would do five or six shows a day and kill it. Oh, Blues kill Brother, it. the Blues Brothers guys yeah. were making like fifty-five a show. It's great. Wolverine was like twenty-two. It's like an MC. An hour. You're MC, like as an MC at a club. Yeah, You're really so, learning. The tour guy was shit though, and that's why I was like, I got to. I got to uh, get promoted. But to how Wolverine. much? How much for the tram? <laughs> the tram host. I'm curious about the tram because that's actually quite a skill. It is. It that should have been the most, but like you have to uh, accumulate a certain amount of hours to get a pay bump. So I think when I started, it was like eight fifty an hour. What? Which, by the way, four hour shows a day. No, that's not enough. For and that. Mem- and not three week okay. training, and then a, and then a. I mean, it's bonkers. Goddamn abuse is what it is. And also, and I was like making skill. it pretty fun. There's a lot yeah. of tour guys who just do the bare minimum. They do the written jokes like. You know, uh, you know, for the Jaws, like, uh oh, Steve, hey guys, wave to our friend Steve. And they're like, wait, Steve, get out. Oh, well, uh, I guess this will be his last swim. Uh, you know, but I would like actually stand up, take my sunglasses off, freak the fuck out. I made a girl cry on like my third tour because, like, fucking dumb acting student, you fresh out of college, yeah. I'm like, this is an acting exercise. Sure. 
Sure. And I committed, and I was like, "There's a fucking shark in there!" And she started bawling. I and, uh, yeah, I haven't been as universal in. Should ages. go I to the kiddos see it again. I know they got a Harry Potter world there now. Oh, and did you go to SC? Yeah. Oh, so you're Trojan. That's yeah. hard to get into that school for acting. I mean, yeah. So I auditioned for because you know my SAT scores were shit. I had a pretty good GPA, some extracurricular stuff, but then. And then when I w- went to the admissions people, they were like, really pray on that Jew stuff. I mean, <laughs> they, they didn't say it like that. I'm paraphrasing. But they were like, you know, diversity and, and all that. And uh, and then I wanted, you know, I wasn't totally sure if I wanted to do full on, because in the BFA, which I was you in. You Jew motherfucker, you. <laughs> yes. We got a lot of Jews on this show. You know. Oh, rabbi? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get my rabbi yeah. soundbite <laughs> from the end of my bar mitzvah? Oh, wow. That's how it ended. <laughs> He's like, that's life. Yeah. Send you up for life, man. Man. You're a man He goes, now. congrats. Give it up for this you Jew motherfucker. <laughs> Jew motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. My aunt goes, I knew that was his name. And so, uh, and so I auditioned because they were like, you have a better chance. If you get into the acting school, then they'll tell the school you have to take them because we're taking them. So the BFA is like, you know, class from nine to six better teachers, more, um, it's just a more rigorous program, you know? Mm-hmm. And so auditioning for that, and then I got in. and got then, it. And because I don't think I would have otherwise. The mean average really? for the SAT. Dude, the SAT average, I think, in my incoming freshman class was like 15, 20. Oh, no. Mine was like oh, 11, no. 10. Oh, that's better than Still I did. Still good, man. Yeah. Is it? I mean, it took what, like five what I was times. expecting was I was like, cat say. is to kitten, is fig newton, is to futon. I'd be <laughs> like, probably right. futon. Yeah. No, yeah. that was stupid. No. It was a dumb dumb. Fucking te- those. I second guess myself all the time. Me too. Yeah. I would yeah. get in my head, put all the pressure on. Yeah, oh, yeah that was terrible. I just think the Jews are great. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're killing it with those, yeah, man. Yeah, I don't think yeah, you should yeah. stop doing I don't, it. I, I, Your I, finger's I don't always in the right place. Do you know? Do you know about this Joe Julia stuff? Do you know about this? No, I know about your Garth stuff, which okay. is maybe like, <laughs> and this is why Let's you guys are in. so prolific Let's and incredible. Check in on, his, on his Instagram, go ahead. Go and ahead. the clips you post of him are just so spot on, and and I love it's like the worst. And some people, it's just like as soon as you post it, I was like, I get exactly what you're talking about. Right. The guys just. And eventually, so what's weird. so great about it, I don't see it stopping anytime soon. No. You're going to get him in here. <laughs> like, oh, I hope so. I, I so. swear to God you're going to get him no, in here. No, I hope so. I guarantee he's a fan of comedy. So. Who knows what he likes? He could be a big Carrot Top guy or like, yeah, but maybe he's he... like, that Bonnie Hunt show needs to come back. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he does not, he doesn't like being made fun of, I'm I don't sure. Because so. we've been relentless. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Relentless. Yeah. Look at these So things. the comments. I vey. Our listeners I have taken over yeah. his comments. <laughs> like, the... I don't mean like one or two. Like, yeah, I'm saying of these like 3,000 right here are they trolling them Dude. hard oh boy it's all our fans well that's First what you get one. for being the biggest selling this act is, of all time i know right i know it's <laughs> like if you're gonna be that big dude you gotta I roll know. with it the youtube comments are probably a plenty you know like yeah, assume like, just roll with it roll bro. with it man yeah. Yeah. isn't that one of his songs roll <laughs> with the trolling or what you know <laughs> here are the comments on his latest post top comment does miss you would eat the scrum <laughs> That's from this show. Oh my God. Uh, look at these comments. Hashtag try it out. Yes, you got to. Uh, everything you see in this house, I built Julia. That's the kind of man you're getting. Full throttle jeans up. Um, this is all YMH. It assault. makes your erection, erection last so much longer, especially during anal. The well, that's just like you learned that shit. in the fifth grade. There you so do, that's you just do. like. Um, <laughs> people are obviously explaining to people, they're like, it's from a podcast called Your Mom's House. <laughs> With Thomas the in brother. comment conversations are maybe some of the best things the internet provides, you know, where people then who don't know each other are like, dude, I'll tell you what's going on. I know, you know what I'm this, saying? This person said, I'm a, I'm fan, a of- fan of both <laughs> and so torn and pretty sad. Uh, <laughs> wait, so Garth, it, do you think one day you're just going to be reading these comments and all of a sudden you're just going to see below like Androck29, you're just going to see Garth knows 62, like. You know, I don't find this shit that funny. Oh at yeah, all. he's right? gonna hear. Yeah. He's Do you think that's somebody. how he's gonna integrate his his say? I or somebody, maybe a phone? Uh, somebody on the marketing team has definitely well, been like, "Look, there's of course, something going on. you guys are too big to for him to not know that this is happening." Uh, at, and at least they're probably like, it's a couple assholes, just let it go." <laughs> just, you know, that's how they're breaking it down for sure, for sure. And I'm and I'd like mm. to say this: we have no ill will towards Garth. We're just having fun. Yeah, and it's all know. in fun. It's a you of course. Got, what it is too. It's a great example in like, dude, don't take yourself so seriously. Yeah, no. especially when you're a country rock music superstar. When I saw Celine Dion in Vegas, and I've only said that sentence a couple of times out loud in and public. I think you should. You should <laughs> limit yeah. it. You should limit it. My buddy had tickets when I was out there. 
uh, for that um, this Vegas comedy festival, which was crazy because the night before I'd gambled with uh, Sickler and Josh Adam Myers and Burt Kreischer, and we'd all we were playing roulette. Burt didn't remember it, which is insane because what? he instigated. It's weird, sound like him. He instigated us winning all a ton of cash. We put down. I think a hundred. It was like let's put on a hundred before we whatever on black, and then we won. And then we're like, oh yeah. And then Bird just looks at everybody and goes, let it ride, let it ride. And we're like, yeah. We did it again, won again, did that what? five times, and, and won. Yeah. Wow. And then Sickle and I were like, I mean, maybe we should fucking step away at this point. Like that's let's walk. some extra cash. Yeah. And then he said, let it ride one more time. Bird is the most racist fat comedian. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> he let it ride again and won, and then left, <laughs> and then. uh and then the next day we were like, dude, I remember saying saw my breakfast and I was like, hey man, thanks for that extra laundry money. And he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, Ugh. let it ride, your catchphrase of the night. And he was like, man, I just fucking, I don't even. Blacking out's good. It's usually a sign that everything's <laughs> <laughs> but it was so fun. But so the next night, my buddy's like, I'm supposed to go to Celine Dion with my, um, with my wife, and she's sick. He's like, do you want to go? I was like, I don't know, man. He goes, I got a blunt. I was like, that sounds fun. So yes. we go. We were like fifth row. First of all, she's unbelievable, but it's one of those Vegas acts and one of these artists that has done probably hundreds of thousands of shows that she, um, she's like, hey, man, this is also an opportunity for me to spread my wings comedically. And uh, I hate that. Use Caesars so as a giant open mic and pump out a little stand-up material, Celine style. No. She was like, every opportunity was a song. She's like, in between two, and she'd be like, this is my backup, my backup uh, guitar player, Juan, he's been with me for 20 years. He's been with me for 20 years. He's been with me for 20 years. Oh, and I was like, God. was this on the set list? What the fuck's going on? Yeah. And then she came out in a yellow dress at one point, and she goes, look at me. I'm so yellow. I'm so yellow. I'm so yellow, yellow. And I'm just like in the back, like, no one's disputing the color. What the fuck? Oh. And then she just goes, I'm like, and then stops and does like a, Turn to the camera and goes, I'm like, Celine Dijon. <gasps> and everybody lost their fucking minds, including me, because I had pe- reached like the peak high. And I was like, I'm not above a good condiment joke. You yeah, know? that's good. And, uh, but she, every, and then she'd talk for 20 minutes and then she'd go, they're in my ear being like, pick it up, pick it up. You're doing too much stand up. She would call it stand up. Oh stand up, of my course. Goodness. And then she'd go into my heart, we'll go on, or that's the way it is. And you just forget about everything she'd just done. You know, it's an amazing like, show. Unbelievable. Yeah. My heart will go on. She's elevating. There's fake rain. Thought it was fake. Looked pretty real to me. Maybe the weed was great, but she's just- How does she fucking- Fly? How does she sing without the accent? Oh, yeah. That's a really that good question. That is a question. great- I should have I should have raised my hand and asked that. But I think you- <laughs> I don't that do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it went singers, away when you sing. Now I've heard that. I think they have to train themselves. They, they train the accent out when they sing. Because you can't hear it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't no, they hear do. It the singing. I know radio people train accents. You can train it out. Yeah, you hear other uh, British pop singers will ha- sound no accent. Yeah, in their song. So weird. Garth's accent stays pretty consistent though, doesn't it? Oh, oh, a free. Does he do uh, a little bit of uh, you know riffing in between? Oh, have I you don't guys know. been to a show? No. Somebody no. offered me this though. They said, they said if you were given tickets, <laughs> oh, would you no. go? And if you enjoyed it, would you admit it? And I was like, I have to say yes to both. Yeah. I, I, would, I would go. I would, go. I, would I would say that I had a good time if I did. Yeah. For sure. I wouldn't go in there like a sourpuss. I would be like, no. Because look, he's an entertainer. Be, yeah. It's not that, look, we're not ripping on his music. No, or his talent. No. Also, don't you get curious about people that tour to that size of an audience? Like even the Wiggles, yeah, I'm like, nuts. what are they doing that I'm not doing? You of course. Know? You know, by the way, the sleep I can't thing sleep because that, of that makes me realize um, if you're f- super famous and a singer, they all do this. Because it's your fans, you get to see what their real sense of humor is like, and you get to see who is legit funny. Because the audience will laugh at whatever. Yeah. Well, that's what happened with Celine. Artist. Yes. Celine Dijon? On Celine paper, Dijon. that ain't great. great. But yeah. it's good. She does it. It's a good right. pun. Yeah, it is but good. I, mean, <laughs> I just was angry. But, yeah, I mean, all that between the song, like, <laughs> uh, thing that they all do. <laughs> yes. Like, I've been to shows where you're like, I wish you would just sing the next fucking song. <laughs> yeah. And then there's legit, I'm sure, you know, people who are pretty funny. I bet Dolly Parton's pretty funny. Oh, I bet she's that's true. the best. Right? Yes. yes. I bet Mumford and Sons, not. But I bet Dolly is. I bet Dolly's, I, Dolly's the best, though. She can't I, there's do There's no nobody wrong. better than yeah. Dolly Parton. Now, do you think she's a lesbian? Ooh. Uh, no. There's stories floating that she's been married to the same guy the, her whole forever. life. She has forever. But that, that's kind Wasn't of Wasn't that a beard. Jeopardy question? This lesbian wants this to- This <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> You've never heard this, though? That she has a, like, Jolene was written about some woman that she loved or something? I, did, I don't know enough Dolly stuff. 
Dolly's I know been around. Who's very close with or very oh, really? informed of Don, of Dolly. So I could I could ask. Who she is? Also, I don't want to say. I don't oh, say. okay. I'd like to know the truth. Let's find this out. Okay, we'll find out. She also seems like one of those journey, you know, artists that's just like done it all, seen it all. Could have stories where it's like this one time I was on a flight to Burbank. We ended up in Mongolia. Next thing you know, I'm scissoring a couple. You know, you know, ESL students, you know, and you're just like, all right, let's rock and roll lifestyle. You know, she's rad. I saw her in Atlanta once in an air in the airport in Atlanta. Cool. Did you go and to her? No. When you see famous sh- people, no. do you? Yeah. No, I leave them. The, I would only ever, ever do it to one person, which is Howard Stern, because I love Howard Stern. I fucking love you for saying <laughs> Otherwise, that. That's who I would do it to. Really? Too. I would never bother. Even though I've done it to the Goo Goo Dolls, but. <laughs> oh, oh no, the guy you, that played Ermy, 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 Ermy. You did say it to him. I yeah. did take a picture with him because I. Arlie full metal Ermy. jacket. Arlie yep. Arlie Ermy. That's, that's good fucking call. amazing. Rest in peace. Yeah. Hoorah. Semper Fi. I but, wouldn't bother like Brad Pitt. I don't give a fuck about. No. I don't care about I told, people. I did that interview with um, Larry King, <laughs> and he was like, oh, yeah. Who are you like? You ever been starstruck? And I was like, Yeah, by rappers. And he was like, What? And I was like, That's <laughs> he gets angry. I go, I've run in. What's a rapper? I mean, I think, I think, uh, a candy rapper. I think some <laughs> athletes are cool, like where I've been like, Oh, you know, I love sports. So I've been like, But I, I don't think I'd be like, oh, Like maybe Jordan would make me do that. Shaq? Because, uh, no, no. I mean, I would be like, That's cool. Yeah. Um, Greg Luganis? For sure. I'd be yeah. like, Dude, you swam with it. <laughs> but, like, but I feel like if it were. I, or I know that I've I've been actually at a loss for words with different rappers that I've just run into in yes. places because that's just I feel like it's more rooted in childhood, you know, and yes. like that nostalgia, and you're like this person defined an era for me, and yeah. I get kind of freaked out by it. Well, your Tyson story is like one of the greatest stories. Oh, I was that's freaked out ever by that. been. Thank you, thank you. Happened and you, I, you know that was crazy. Broken was down. Crazy. Also, the amount of layers to that story. Is just like I remember. I think and, the first time I heard you say it at the Ice House before you taped it, yeah. and I was just like, I can't even believe. Like when it w- should have maybe stopped, I was like, "There's more to this." Yeah, it was right? wild, right? Yes. Did you have crazy. to? And you know what the layer the layer of it that I ended up telling a, the uh, a, a condensed bonus. version. No, I ended up telling the follow up story because I realized that the story ends with a phone hanging up. Like that's how the bit ends. Yeah, I think that's how the special ends. Yes. And people would always be like, "Did you ever? Did you ever? Did he ever show up?" Yes, and he did. And so I would tell that story. Right. So it that, took you a little bit to go. Oh, I need to add that to it. Yeah. Well, what happened was, since it was at the end of a special, what I realized was like everyone was asking me about that story, and I was like, "Well, I know I can tell you the rest of the story." So I put that as a bonus on that oh, album. Oh, great. But then the thing that happened that really doesn't get the attention because of the way it is, but I put it on Instagram because that's the only place I knew to share it. I get a year later a photograph (laughs) that this guy, multiple photographs, and he's like, so I was at the airport in Pittsburgh, and the story that I tell was about being on a flight from LA to Pittsburgh. He's like, check this out, and it's these photographs, and Tyson is posing with people, and it's, it's coming off that flight, and he's holding my DVD. So it like really tied it all, you know, it was kinda cool. And legitimized like, it on Instagram. People were like, "Oh, this Photoshop." I'm like, "No, I I just gave it yeah. to him. Like, it's like what the, the thing I just gave him." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you see him like holding it, which I always thought was, you know, a trip, right? That yes. He's like actually, yeah, and it, and it totally validates the story. But yeah, I mean, meeting you know him was insane. Jordan, I feel like would be way less personable. Yeah. But I would still be like, uh, I wouldn't know what to say to him. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like anybody else. Uh, I met Kim Deal of the Pixies and lost out. my I fucking mind. But you forced me to go up to her. I never would That's have. True. You're like, go up to her, go up to her. I knew I what it meant Kim to Deal. her. I knew what it meant to her. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was like, she goes, should I say, I go, Ab-. because if it would have been like, that's somebody from that band and I know she doesn't care. Yep. But when I when she was like, oh my God, Kim Deal, and I see her like rocking like a, like a crazy person, <laughs> I was like, yes, you should. I go, you're and never going to. She was so nice to me. She was the nicest. She picked her teeth. She picked her teeth as she talked to me. She was like, I had a. Um, sitting outside a diner, she was like, "Yeah." Um, <laughs> she was like, "What? You want to take a picture?" Like starting out, and I was yeah. like, "Yeah." Hold on, and just she was kept so like nice. cleaning her teeth. But yes. I mean, you know, she was She's like, "I'm doing a show." Yeah. Okay. Who else? So, first of all, most importantly, who's got a bigger dong, Shaq or Jordan? Go ahead, Adam. Wow. Right. Well, I was told by someone who met Jordan once that his hands 
are oh I, is, that seemed like I was going to be like they, this, Jordan's got the yeah I thought you were going to tell no, me well, that like his hand is like gigantic gigantic so I feel like I mean it's usually right people go what size shoe are you oh yeah you must be fucking with that penis right yeah yeah um, which isn't always true though I mean as a dick detective I can say <laughs> that is not where's that cartoon true I mean I'll tell you this no you're right we got you're the right. opening theme you're right <laughs> every Tuesday the dick detectives. Oh my God! We yeah. study them. We, we know study, these things. Yeah, no, yeah, but you yeah. know what I'm saying. We got it all started because she was like one time. She was like, "Well, that guy's really tall, so he's got a huge dick." I go, "I don't I've think that's always the case." Guys yeah, left in little dude. I haven't seen short fucking, guys with big dicks. I have not I, I seen have. that. I got I a few not. pictures in the house. I'll yeah. show you. There's definitely <laughs> short guys. With my big dicks. um my co-host Bradley Williams uh, attests that he you know is uh is he's a little guy packing okay. But yeah. also, you know, the small, the small hands and everything, like, for sure. looks bigger. But, yeah. um, but I think with the big hand thing, I don't know, I think there was some truth to that. But also Shaq, like, I just can't imagine that that thing doesn't also I act saying, as like an extra leg at some even point. Even if it's, yeah. he could have it's a enormous. large dick that is not proportionate to how big he is. Oh, yeah. And you would think that's a small dick. Yeah, because he's such a but proportionate. The girls so, see it and they go, well. right. I'm saying an eight inch dick on him. Eight inches is definitely well big. above average. You're fine, yeah. And then you can get into a lot of on uh, him. You'd be like, uh, what's that thing? You got you need tweezers? What's going on over there? <laughs> but it's actually a deep. You know. So, but I'm asking you guys, yeah. who do you think's got a bigger one? Yeah, that's right. You asked Shaquille or, or Jordan. Jordan. I mean, Jordan's the greatest. I mean, Jordan globalized the sport, so I feel like his dick probably even just grew. From just like the world recognizing, thank you for what you're doing for right. the sport. The natural, the universe, the universe, big dick energy in I don't know if that's him. Neil deGrasse Tyson type shit or yes. like, yeah, but he maybe it's the the secret, right? right? But just you're being manifesting like, a bit. If I take Gatorade to China, maybe my cockle, yeah. right, follow sure. suit. Right. Sure. I don't you. know. Yeah, right. But I think just being the greatest, I feel like he's got to be. I think so too. Right. I'm talking about stature. I'm gonna go, but you said Shaquille. You said you know somebody that's like Shaquille's. So you know. Oh Jesus. Well, there's stories of like hoes who are like he ain't he ain't got all that. Yet. Well, yeah, but also like video hoes and stuff. Oh know? really? Yes. Ho videos. Hoes videos are like his dig ain't all that. You think like? Do they now? Is it like lead, them leaving you? his house or is them just posting it on Instagram? They've, they've even written about it. Wow. Yeah. Is there a book? Like tell alls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, these are. That's a bold move, by the way, to write a book after like fucking Shaq. But if you're Shaq. a hoe, you're a straight it, That ain't hoe. that big. Like, yeah. how many chapters is that? I wanted my That's uterus true. to fall out and nothing <laughs> happened. You know? Jesus. Yeah, it could have. <laughs> now, hands, you know, the, the, the story in the NBA now is uh, uh, what's his name? Kwame Leonard. Um, am I saying Kwai it? Leonard. Kwai Leonard. Yeah. His hands. Have you seen the stories about that? No. So there, he was like in some photo, like after you know they after workout sometimes they'll all and people are like, what the fuck is going on with his hands? Turns out he has the largest hands in the NBA right now. Dang. And he's a big guy. Yeah. But there's guys that are bigger, and it's unnatural, man. And it actually for sure affects the way you shoot, handle the ball, rebound. Dude, look at the. I want to see if I can find this photo. You'll be like, oh shit, that is. You know, I'm sorry. I'm going into the Rolodex of dicks of my past. Jesus, we're back to the dicks. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the hands, the hand uh -huh. to dick ratio. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you're right. It's it's not the hand to dick ratio. It's not the hand. It's not. It's, it's a general overall stature. Do you think swagger can give girls that there's uh, First of all, an no. indication that no? I mean, look at this NBA no. regulation no. basketball. Sweet, yeah. It's amaze big. I mean, his hands are huge. Then. Oh my god. How do girls size up, like, from a dude, whether they can try to get an idea? Like, is that even a thing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he you can. He smells pretty good. It's got to be. Is that cool water? No, nope, tiny <laughs> dick. Or, like, yeah, but I've been, I've been surprised. There are guys who I thought, oh, surely this is going to be yeah. a big dong. And it's just, it's not. Or like, oh, backwards hat. Like, you just find something Some to even convince yourself. This is what got it it's going. Interesting. He wore a mesh jersey the... under his tux. Right. <laughs> this is what got the story going. This guy here. Like, you don't see that he, there's actually... Like a, a, ball. a basketball in his hands. He's just holding it. That's crazy. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> What's going on there? And um, yeah, it's like yeah. his hands Damn. are covering. Yeah. So the yeah, story. that's gotta that's gotta mean something, right? Yeah. I mean, I this though. is a kid, but still, it's. Jesus but then there's Lord. guys like Muggsy Bogues, where you're like, you know, wait. So I got distracted by the dicks. Yeah. 
You saying Joe. that you've you've seen hands, like you're like, all right, this, these are going to Right, be. I'm going in the Rolodex of dicks. Right, right. <laughs> and and I'm, hold on. Just let's, let's, let's give it a couple thousand hours. And the thing is, is that it's... How long is this podcast? Hold on. Give Christina a second to think about all those dicks. Okay. So. By the way, I want that to be the song they play people up to when they give the eulogies at my funeral. Rub, rub, rub. Yes. Rub, rub, rub. Like, as they walk, like they're like, all right, and now here's Mr. Tang and his eighth grade PE coach. Adam was a sweet boy. Yeah, but you got to deepen your voice and have it sound like you've been smoking 10 packs a day for 40 years oh and have your breath smell just the worst. Uh, no, and I'm then teach us to shoot underhand free throws. Underhand. Right. I, I'm going to my Thousand Rolodex, and I'm here. telling you that there have been shockers where I've been like, this guy will have an average one. And it like was, in that moment, you're like, oh, this will be a normal The guy's dick. build is average. It's, he's like a tall, lean, and then it'll be like underwhelming, like highly wow. underwhelming. I've mm-hmm. had that. I've had modest, like really insecure guys who you're tall and not, not a swagger, but you're like, that one's got a big one whoa just because he's and so you, unassuming about it he was n- n- s- kind of meek but po- big stature tall right. but then that one was big that one guy that had the biggest one and then did you <laughs> <laughs> now that big besides one, you of course just in oh, time right, for the right, holidays right. but that big one though <laughs> you yeah. you suspected it would be no i don't i don't uh, what's what we're talking about is well like, that's the thing i the moment you know you, you always hope here's the thing it's like it is you like do christmas. right you always hope you always hope you always want the best gift that's right nobody goes like oh i hope like you know some my, my best friend gets the the barbie princess car you're like no i want that right. shit. yeah that's the thing is you're always hoping it's gonna you never you really don't know it's a crapshoot every time yeah i'm just saying that there's I, when i look back it, it really there really is no formula yeah it's kind of like and so you know what so it was, you're, but you're saying actually you're making the point that you it's, can't it's correctly. irrespective yeah yeah You're, irregardless and do you make a noise if you are like under like is there a oh no no like, no but i've had i had that's the best moment in porn oh geez yeah the you know reveal when yeah, they're like it is <gasps> oh stop like, uh. you know what's the most disappointing <laughs> the most disappointing peeners i've had though yeah, tell me when they're real short and fat really personally it's mm. not my jam wait if the if the the dick is short and fat? Yeah. What for about, me, but that tell, wasn't good. Tell the story of the I can't do it. What? The, the I can't. You're like, this is too big. That is not. That is a story. Babe. You know it was it was not because of his dick size. I thought you told me that it was like, you're like, this is too big. This will be damaging. It wasn't because of that. Oh. No, it was because I wasn't kind of, I wasn't into it. Like, because it looked like him. it was gonna fucking destroy you. That's got to be a thing. I would feel like if I see one that's that big, yeah, and that's like, and you're, you're in that world of like, this is gonna be a part of my evening, and then all of a sudden, it's almost like if you go to a restaurant, and you're like, let me get this size of steak, and they bring a real big one, and you're like, I don't know if I can eat all that. Now wait a there's minute. Some, there's some real equipment out there. But can I, I mean, tell you? I've seen videos where I'm like, if I was a chick and that thing pulled out, I might be like. Oh, there was a guy. But that my, guy surprised me. me. Now hold on, because I forgot about that one. Uh oh. Because I never, we never did it, but I did see it. You know, but yeah. I, but that guy was small. That guy Wait, was the guy a, was small. Stature. You would never freaking see? know. He was a poor freaking guy. He was short. Oh. Uh, and wait, so... Yeah, we never so fucking know. So was it your racism made you not do it? Or was <laughs> I think it was... It's the name of your next special. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you do this big no, Puerto Rican but You dog? know why? Because I was I was too sensitive. Honestly, it's because really? I'm not that kind of girl. I couldn't do it. Really? No, I couldn't have... I was trying to have a one-night stand. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. And I, I'd never done it before. You are my really? first one night stand. You know that. So wait, I Aww. ended up fucking marrying the one guy that I tried oh to do. Oh my it. god! I'm so, terrible. But you had you. So you're I'm trying to have the one it. night stand. Where, is there at least some booze involved? Like, are you? Gonna, of course, I'm drunk. I'm yes. And then you're like, you still go. And like, I was no. like, I can't do this. This is not for me. How did he handle that? Not well. Of course not. Really? Didn't like it. I was mad, and I was like, "Fuck you!" I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the woman. I called did he try shots. to course you and like be like, "Well, maybe we just need to play a game or something." How about just, <laughs> that's usually when you hear just the tip. Did you hear that a lot that oh, night? Oh yeah, not that night. But there was that's another Puerto move. Rican guy that tried that shit with me. How many Ricans have you? <laughs> how many Ricans? Wait, so from the producers of Dick Detective so, so, comes how so, many Ricans? So there was this other Puerto Rican guy, and I did not do it with him, but he did try to just the tip me. I swear to God. Oh, what? God. Yes. You know, when you're Puerto Rican, you're just. It, okay, uh, it was the it was during I was like 
college. This is like around junior year. Yeah. And this guy did try to do it. He goes, no, no, come on. And I was like, you don't have a condom. I'm not going to have sex with you. Like, and he's like, no, no, And I was like, no, 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 dude. And, and this like, was the 90s when like, they told you like, AIDS guy. is rampant. This is a different Puerto Rican guy. And how far did you get though? I did not. I didn't Nothing. let him fuck me because we didn't have anything. No but protection. I mean, you get, don't you get started before you get you there? Ma- we're making out. You're making out. Yeah. And then he's like. Come on. And then he's like trying to talk me into it. And I was like, no, bro, because this is the 90s. Like I said, and I was very nervous so about he STDs he, he, like, and fucking like, AIDS and shit. Tip, just a tip. Yeah. Just he didn't say just a tip. He didn't say that phrase, but, but it like, was that just the tip. Just the top thing. part. Like, yeah. Just come, come on, on. Let me just, on. let me just, yeah. Just a urethra. Yeah. <laughs> just feel that. I got a great urethra. Yeah. Why has why the tip always been so, like, yeah. is that the best part? Is that like we're like. No, because he thinks if he can get in of course. a She'll, centimeter in. If you feel the tip, you'll animal. want the rest of it. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Wow. You're just seeing who's agreeable. Because if you go, yeah. come on, just a tip, and the girl's like, all right, you're like, she's down. She just wanted. Right. She, she just wanted, wanted to get. a little pushback on it. Right, right, right. But Dang. your girl is very yeah, paranoid of disease, I know. and so he's I like, couldn't just do Amy, it. come on. And you're like, you fucking spit. That's rude. <laughs> that's racist. I did not. That's your voice. That's yeah. That sounded no, just that's, like you. That sounded just like you, Christina. That that's, sounded I know I'm a little raspy. Yeah. I lost my voice yeah. this week. Yeah. 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 That's rude. <laughs> that's very rude. Inconsiderate. He's right there. Yep. Yeah, that's so rude. Do you want to know where I saw some crazy dicks recently? Yeah, this is where? insane. And I posted on Instagram and Instagram took it down. Oh. Was, um upgraded myself to uh, a little first class seating, right? Nice. And uh always nice. comfy With on place. on Delta. Got the hot towel, mm. got the weird cookie. Mm. And um, there's a guy two rows in front of me, and it's dark. It's a night flight. All of a sudden, I see him on his iPad scrolling through. Actually, I'm sorry, phone. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of like look over, and all of a sudden, I'm just like, "Oh, those are dicks. <laughs> oh, oh those are scrolling. Those are butts. And oh dicks. my god. Oh, those are butts taking dicks. Those are uh, boobs. And this guy's just going through. Who's watching porn on an airplane? Oh, or looking this at- dude in the front row of the thing. Oh, so like, no. and he's just filing through as if he's got all these. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> It's a gay person. Gay person. <laughs> he had a wife right next to him. Oh, what? And she was, um, oh. I don't know what ethnicity, but she had a big garb on, and he's scrolling through all these saved videos, and at first it's just like black people fucking, and then it's like uh, just dicks. Walk- and There's old men walking around flopping dicks. It was so this wait, seated, whole grab bag of like- Where are you? Are you seeing it? Over crazy. Between I'm seats? in third row- yeah. uh, Second row, and he's in first row to the left, oh and I'm on the right. He's at the window. He's on the aisle, first row. Aisle. And I'm aisle. right behind Bold. him on the aisle. So I'm like diagonal. So Bold. I'm like, yeah. and I'm just like, what is happening? And this dude's here? just casually. Casually scrolling through like he's looking at menu items of the cheesecake. Is factory. that what you're doing when you're next to me on your iPhone? <laughs> looking at fucking. And he would stop on the weirdest snatches? videos. And then all of a sudden, like. No, I would never be a. I'm not. See, I'm too on a fucking paranoid plane? and too. I'm too private and personal. To to yeah. do something like that publicly, I'll look at crazy shit uh, alone, but never in a public space. But I, I'd just be too paranoid. Yeah, no. Of also, course. like, what if like the stewardess is just all of a sudden? No, fuck yeah, you're man. so in your porn shit, world. Yeah. No, I would never. You want coke? You want to drink? And you're like, <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't I don't want, want to you. I wouldn't want the public shaming. No, you know, obviously, like no. she'd have to say something or he, right? Well, they should. They Do you get kicked should. off for that? You should. You should. Yeah. Come on. You're what if there's there. kids in the fucking? Well, I, I took a video, and posted cool. it on Instagram, and good for you. And people were posting you did? like, yeah, and because uh, I was good. just like, you know, and I even took like a little picture of this guy and was going to add that to it, and then, uh, but Instagram took the video down after about ten minutes. Really? That yeah. fast? Tons of comments. So people will just, I mean, a lot of people will be like, this is gross. Why'd you post this? And oh, people... you still have it on your phone, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh, you got to show it to me. After. Yeah, of course. I love Dicks in butts on planes. I love how quick I was like, oh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> dicks and butts on planes. Dicks and butts on planes. It's your next hour title. Um, <laughs> do you know about the movie Tiptoes? No. Oh my Have god. Have you heard about it? No. Is Kevin Bacon in it? No. But oh. there's some big names in it. Uh, is it an '80s or '90s movie? Mm, early 2000s. Early 2000s. Great. Uh, Educate me. Gary Oldman's in it. Love Gary Oldman. I mean, doesn't get better than that. Doesn't. Um, <sighs> unless Gary Sinise is in it too. <laughs> the Garys. The Garys. The Gary's. Is there a movie that's just got all Garys in it? Yeah, there should be. Dude, that's a really good question. The Garys. Um, and who are the great Garys? Matthew McConaughey's in it. Love that. Gary. Gary O'Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Gary O'Terry. <laughs> is it a gay There's porn star? Gary Oldman. Gary I just want to. I think we have. So this is pretty exciting. Um, I'm sorry, I'm pulling this up. How did you become fascinated with this flick? Uh, because I didn't think it was real. 
those it's are the not, best. We haven't even watched the movie. We've just seen yeah. the trailer. The and trailer it's doesn't so seem real, and the trailer is real. Love that. Um, <laughs> like somebody made this. The studio invested a lot of money. Well, you have McConaughey. McConaughey. How's Brad doing? Brad Williams is your podcasting partner. For yes. those of you who don't know, yes. What's about, your show called? The About Last Night about podcast. Last night. Yes. Here it is, sorry. Um, which we need to get you on. I would love to. We'll make love that to happen. Maybe, on. maybe in the new year, right? Yeah, I'd yeah. love to. Uh, okay, so here is this is a real trailer because I know you're going to be like, "What? <laughs> this doesn't seem real." It's so. By bad. the way, I love movie trailer. <laughs> Carol and Stephen's life together was perfect. <gasps> I've got to get so going. Weird. Whoa! Wait a second. Yeah, like. Hey, baby. Hey, a blowjob. I love you. There's one small problem. Hi, I'm Ralph. I'm his brother. We're <laughs> twins. <laughs> yeah. It can tear them apart. I think you gotta let me know that everyone in your family's a midget. Well, they're not midgets, Carol. They're dwarfs. Whatever. Or bring them together. Hey, welcome. I'm Steven. Oh, there you are. This is Steven's father, Bruno, and his mom, Kathleen. And over behind the bar is Steven's brother, Rob. You could have prepared us for this, don't you think? If you embarrass me, I'll never speak to you again, so just get it together. I think maybe I'm pregnant. Oh my God. When the going gets rough, it's only the size of your heart that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be that big of a deal if our kid was a dwarf? You knocked up this great girl and you didn't tell her that her baby's probably going to be little. Is he doing a dwarf like voice? You. We are so cute and cuddly. Yeah. Don't discriminate against us. It's... Did Bridget the Midget have to change Can you replay this and me? let me do the trailer for it? Yeah. By the way, how bad is the voiceover? Guy? So bad. This See, guy doesn't. That's it, I feel that like he's barely my, reading copy. He's just like, McConaughey's in it, and a midget shows up. Beckinsale's freaked out. She doesn't know if she can suck <laughs> off a guy whose brother's but with a I'm midget. I'm saying the VO for the for the trailer. <laughs> yes, he's like, bad. He's like, they didn't know what would happen next. Like it has a very not for. <laughs> Sounds like he was auditioning release. for the part, and they're yeah. like, we might like, give it to you. It. Hey, do we have any of the the uh, demos <laughs> from the auditions? Just tie you, line it up. We're not going to hire a real guy. If he did. And I these parties got a little wild. I never expected this. There's sure a lot of midgets around here. Cool. Back off, Goldie Hawn. My man can do what he wants to do. <laughs> I'm ready for an adult relationship. What is this man doing in your bedroom? <laughs> oh, dude. Matthew McConaughey, Gary Oldman. Hot Tubs and Midgets? I mean... Was that the alternate title? A walk down the aisle. Oh, yeah, this guy sounds like he demoed like a T-Mobile employee yeah, video. Yes. Where he's like, when you show up to the store after five, remember to put the cases back where you found them. McConaughey's heart, let's hope it's big enough to keep this marriage going. That's exactly it. And here's, here's his... Here's Beckinsale's in it, too. She's great. You're like, okay, now he's just giving personal... Here's his... Here's the final... Like, Can you believe final, Oldman's a little man? The final title. Now Plus and Langley Productions proudly mm. present command performances from Kate Beckinsale. Matthew McConaughey. Nope. Patricia McConaughey. Arquette, and in the role of a lifetime, Ro Gary Oldman. That's one way of... Role of a lifetime. Holy shit. Does Brad know about this? <laughs> oh, to. I wish no. we would have played it for him when he was here. I think we it, was, loved it. it was after he... Oh, um, yeah. my God. Do you think... Wait a minute. Did Bridget the Midget have to change her name to Bridget the Little Person? You mean now? Yeah. That's a good question. I don't know. Wait a minute. How do you think... Now, do you think in the pitch meeting... Kind of, he's like, so look, I'm very excited for this new movie. Yes. Like, you uh. guys, like, I, you know, I've been loving to work with Beck and Sale at some point, right? Oldman, giant fan. Legend. No no bigger fan of yeah. Oldman than McConaughey. <laughs> yeah. And they go, we're going to say McConaughey for the trailer. We'll talk about it. <laughs> uh, I've never heard it pronounced that way either. Yeah, it's well, not McConaughey. Yeah, right? That was different. No. Jane, oh, you can't really see it, but I can see it here. Wait, so what's... I mean, are you going to have a viewing party? Because I need to know, does <laughs> Oldman rip him apart? Because Kate's like, I don't know. Didn't she say at one point, like, I don't know if I can go through with this. Yes. Because they're about to get married. They're about to. But then all of a sudden, Dwarf Oldman shows up and throws oh. a curveball into McConaughey's But she gets dick. preggers. Oh, gee. And then she's, she's like, like, am I going to have a dwarf baby? Yes. Does she, is that a concern? Uh, yeah, that's a major that's concern. The thing. Whoa. This is like very anti-dwarf. Yeah, kind of feels like it. it kind of is, is uh, yeah. Like here's this, the, uh, you couldn't make this movie now. Here's the trivia. Also, Dinklage is in it, so it's a good thing you didn't show it to Brad. Oh my god, because that's like true nemesis for oh, him. Oh really? I didn't oh, know yeah. that. Wait for real? For oh him? yeah, we troll him on it on Twitter and Brad. Why? I don't know. Just I thought he was like their god. Yeah, is that why? Maybe. Yeah. No, I think maybe it's maybe it's one of those things where he was like, 
I think Brad's people were too. He's like, he looks up to the oomps, the oompa loomps. Mm -hmm. So people were like, you, Dinkwich is your guy. And he's like, don't tell me how to live my life. You know? Ah, ah he likes the, the I like whoever more I want. frivolous. Like, yes. Yeah. Don't yeah. tell me who I have to idolize. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I agree. But There's... also, I feel like maybe, and Dinkwich gets a lot of parts I think that Brad would like. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, here's some of the trivia right now on IMDb for Tiptoes. Uh oh. <laughs> Director. Uh, Matthew Bright was fired after he turned in his cut. The whole the whole film was then re-edited. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah. That's a great moment yes. where he plays it for everybody and they just go, do you think it's immediate where they watch it at the end and <laughs> Oldman, the last line, let's just you know hypothesize, Oldman just goes, so I guess I'll just grab my shoes and leave. Yeah, McConaughey yeah. goes, sorry, but I, I, we're going to have a baby. And he goes, fine, fuck you, credits. credits. And then he just turns around and goes, you're fired. You're fired. And then this is the good version. This is the <laughs> this version. Is they this, is the yes. this was Rhea. And Peter Dinklage said that the original director's cut, which screened in Austin, was gorgeous. Mm. But the people who fired uh, Matthew Bright ruined the movie. Who recut it? Like what's That it? I don't know. Because I'd love to see what else he did. Did he do like fried green tomatoes? Or um, see, good point. You know? you know, now that I see this again, the trailer, they're trying to make it into like a rom-com, like a comedy and I have a feeling the way that it was shot was probably more respectful of dwarves and of the story. And then they were like, hey, you got to make this for the yeah. general audience. Yeah, you like, gotta... let's make this a wacky comedy. And you're like, but it's not funny. You can and that's that. why it's yeah. not. Also, adding I'm wondering, up. so what year was this? Because it, it's. 03. It's not that. Dwarves crazy, have been right? around for a while. Like, are we that thrown off that one could show up and all of a sudden enter well, that's a family? The thing. The, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, <laughs> like that reaction when the mother's <laughs> like. Yeah, that was great. Like, what are you telling me? Are there black people here too? What's going on? <laughs> like, yeah. she was really, really reacting. If a black dwarf had walked in, she would have oh, lost her mind. Oh. Um, here's some other of the trivia that's on the page sure, now. Sure. Gary Oldman kept his jeans extremely high and tight for the entire go. film uh, to create the illusion of a small person. After initial criticism, Gary Oldman was quoted as saying, just try it out. <laughs> Gary Oldman said he was uh -huh. inspired by his favorite musicians, Garth Brooks and the Four Stroke Gang. Okay. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> this film has been held in high regard for its soundtrack, including the original song, Good Morning Julia by Gene McSealing Fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's relentless. Yeah. Uh, the jeans are everywhere. They're everywhere. The mommies are everywhere on the internet. So, wait, I asked you this um, a while back before we jumped around. Who did you know who Good Morning Julia, what that referred to? No. So that referred to um, something that's really blown up on this show, which is a young lady named Julia one day was at the gym, left the tanning bed at the gym, went to her car, and a man followed her out of the, of the gym and said her name. And the reason he knew her name was because you sign in at the gym. So he was like, Julia, Julia. Oh, and no. And she was like, yeah. Oh, her name is Julia, you? Julia? Well, yeah, exactly. Oh, no. yeah, her oh. name is Julia. Okay. And he was like, hey, hey, hey. And she was like, do I know you? And the reason he knew her name was because he, he saw the sign. And Creepy. She, Never thought that that is such an easy way. It's, it's right? like when kids used to wear names on their sweatshirts, you know? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Because I yeah. did that as a kid. And right. We can, that's, we'll put a pin in that story. No. Well, he so mm. he followed her out, and she was nice. Like, basically, he, she was like, in a, in a polite, roundabout way, was like, I'm not interested. Um, but he was like, let me get your number. And she was holding her phone. So she was like, why don't you put your number in? So like, I have it. So he put his number in and then dialed his phone. So he got her phone number. But anyways, she was like, that's that. She goes home. And the next morning, she gets this on her phone. Good morning, Julia. It's me, Joe. Just wanted to say hi. Wish you a great day. Mm. Tell you that meeting you yesterday... And getting a look at you was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. Great you were so fan. beautiful. Yeah. You don't know how beautiful you are to me. I mean, just you're gorgeous. You're precious. So it goes on. <laughs> it goes know, on. It's been oh, sitting in my yeah. mind when you said to me you want to go back with your ex-boyfriend. Please erase him from your memory. Okay, Don't dude. ever go back in the past. I know. Men in black, I've like, been dude. there. I've and I understand when, you know, you're trying <laughs> to find somebody and you go on dates yeah. and... Nothing compares to it's, your ex. It's a lot. But there is that better person out there. With more fans. And Julia, I promise you it is me. Open up is, your heart okay, to dude. me in your arms. All right. Open up your heart. Very aggressive. Let's Billy Ocean throttle. style. Get out of my dreams. Get into my car. Yes. yes. With you. With you. It's, it's nuts. It's a lot. Is he uh, purposely giving like the, the Cribs tour in the background? Yes. Like is he 
very inconspicuously trying yes. to be like, and I got a dope kitchen yes. in case you want to come he over. He goes, I could, I built all like, this, I built the crown all this moldings. myself. I could trim this goatee or let it grow more, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> and then he sent totally. her a follow-up video. No like, way. Shortly Did she respond to that? No. no. Or this? No. Just want to say good morning. In case you didn't know I could Julia, wear hats like this. My flower. <laughs> My, what? My precious. No nicknames yet, dude. My soon to be, my everything. Holy Ugh. shit. Have a great day, love. Oh, restraining order. Uh. Table for one. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? He was just waiting on it now. How so. many How many Mwah. has he sent? What? Oh my God. And this is, you know what? And it's <laughs> stuff like that that I go, oh man, like I, you know, not that I don't feel bad when I hear these creeper stories from gals, but it's like uh. when you see video evidence, you're like, Oh yeah, like there was a, a girl who was dating in college. I remember she was at a bar and she gave a number to a guy because we were dating and she was like, I just felt bad. And I was like, don't do that. Like there's, he's gonna send you weird shit now. And he did. And of it course. was just like, well, you know, she was terrified. Not every guy is, she's she terrified. Was, she she stopped going to her gym she because of this gyms. fucking guy. But then like she eventually, well like people started to. He sent her videos of him like working out. Uh, we could be workout yeah. buddies. I think he I need got a spotter in life and at the gym. He got he got the hint, and but like when he didn't seem like he would. That no, seemed like no. a video web series ready to be she, made. She probably at a certain point actually blocked him. If I I don't remember. That's I'm all sure. it takes, right? I'm sure. Well, she eventually got. She thought it was funny after a while. Oh, cool. You know, once she got some distance from she it. She said that when she got the first one, she was so mortified that yeah, she didn't share she with didn't, anybody. Because yeah, yeah. she was like, oh my God, this is so bad. And here's the thing. He didn't seem, he seemed like a kind of affable guy that was kind of like your dumb, like almost like your boner from Growing Pains and your group of friends. Yeah. yeah. To where like you're hanging out and you're like, hey, do that thing with your goatee or like make that fart noise or like something stupid where you had some yeah. weird human trick. But then, then you'd see him talk to women and you're like, we should probably get out of here, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because he's going to like take it up a notch and fall in love and start calling girls flower, you know? But that's so stupid. Men he just should. Doesn't, he doesn't but, have no, a but he's coming men, from a. You, you men tell should it. learn that they can't just keep fucking harassing. Ch- like, yeah. yeah. What, look, you call her once, she doesn't answer. That's it. She's not fucking interested that's in it. you, bro. Like, stop. She got your video. She got it. She got the also, video. Also, maybe, she like, take a hint. Maybe, like, don't put the ceiling fan in it next time. Oh, you my know? God. The ceiling fan? It's everything. People, Backdrop matters, though, right? If you're gonna get a, a home oh, video, sweetie. a selfie video, you don't maybe be in know. the hot tub, or maybe like, I don't know, I don't know what the move is, like be be holding the parakeet or something. You don't even know half of the shit. Well, she eventually baited him because she was like, when when she finally found the humor in it, she was like, I want to do, like, I want to get another one of these because she eventually oh thought gosh. it was funny. Oh, that's so great. her and her friends were like, "Send us another video." Oh boy, and he did send her oh. one more. We just this we is the final just, one. This yeah. is the mom's house exclusive. We thought for real we would share it with you and discuss. Yeah, I haven't yeah. been this excited since Cool Runnings hit DVD. Yeah. <laughs> this one is this the, the one. It, it is the exclusive. Um, we'll be back to talking. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. This is a YMH exclusive. YMH exclusive. YMH exclusive. YMH. YMH. All right, that's why go. you guys are the best, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Little things like that go a long way. Uh, <laughs> but this is the video. This is the last one she got from Who's him. saying... See, I'm half asleep on the couch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed. You got me wrapped around your finger. Uh, oh. But that's all you're getting. I'm exhausted. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Yes. Too much of a delay before a kiss uh, is bad news, man. Oh God, who kisses like that? Yeah. Oh God, it's why does it hurt my soul? It hurts. It hurts oh, my stomach. It's just cringy. It's yeah, just it makes my stomach hurt. It's embarrassing. I bet, like in ten years, you'd be like, "Hey, we've been." Oh wait, play it again. It's so like. Uh, I feel like that's the end of his commercial when he's like, "Hey, it's me. What's his name again?" Joe. 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 Come on down to Joe's Syrup Farm, where you can get the best syrup in Tallahassee. Mwah. 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 And he yeah. does that he does that like Mwah. self-imposed sexy Mwah. laugh where he was like <laughs> uh, yeah. you know like it's like just hanging on the couch oh. too sexy to get up yeah yes whoa wrapped see, it on my finger this one this he, is all you're getting yeah see this one he went he's, full he went full trouble see he's less desperate the reason he's less desperate in this one <laughs> is because she prompted him to send something. <laughs> so all like he's so eager in the other ones because yeah. he doesn't know what's gonna get. Now he's sitting back being now like, oh, oh look, nice. who's, look who's coming to me now. Yeah. I guess I can chill on the couch. So that first one. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't have to do any production value That's for this. Right. Oh, the first God. one had to like, I will find you, I will follow you, I will end things. <laughs> kind of vibe. Yeah. Yes. And now he's like, Oh, she's interested. 
So when someone's interested, you feel like you can do a, <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of laugh. <laughs> like, I know you like me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look, who, look yeah. who came around. And you know yeah. what I like? Swag. That's swag. That's that is swag. swag. Yeah. And you know what I like, too, is the forced spontaneity of like, <laughs> I'm just here laying on my couch. Yeah. Do you you know caught me in the dark. Do you know how many oh. different ways he laid down before yeah. oh. that? Maybe do you think he practiced? Yeah, oh, there are sure. variations of. Or like yes, mwah. he's like I should have done a longer beat between the <laughs> last word. He and said the kiss. to his buddy, uh. "Should have held out longer before the smooch noise." Smooch. <laughs> I tell you, the smooch seals the deal. Smooch seals and the deal. Mwah. Two second pause or four second, you fill yeah. it out, dude. It's weird, but be on the couch for it. Um, <laughs> what about you, the floor? You got me wrapped around your finger. But this is all you get. I, I, I want to know what he was anticipating. He might give her if she did ask for more, though. You know, what if she texts it back? <laughs> Don't let that be it. And I he's know. like, "Oh, you want more, huh? Well, let's move to the bathroom." Uh, uh, location change. You know, I, I bet. What if? What if? If she had baited him with like a fake nudie? Oh God! And she was like, "Let me see that." Oh, we don't know what this guy's capable of. Oh yeah. What do you think? That's where he draws the line. He, yeah, you're right. He what if he like, also became a gentleman? What if he was like, like, Julie, I'm a classy guy. I thought you were classy. <laughs> Not interested. Yeah. 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 That would be the best thing That's ever. awesome, yeah. Now, if, God, now you want me to reopen this exchange with Joe. What if Julia were to respond now and be like, I'm ready? It's been a few years. It's been a few years. I've been thinking I'm about it. Yeah. All these guys were wrong. You were always right. I Lucky need, for you, yeah. I've still been on my couch. <laughs> He's got to know by now, right? That, that this we've is been happening. relentlessly. Yeah. You know that people are sending in their own <laughs> Joe videos. Oh, by the hundreds. Oh boy. Like like they've just been nonstop. Good morning, Julia. Kids, you know. Wait, wait. Yeah. Meeting you yesterday was the best day of my life. It's Are relentless. You fucking... it's Good morning, Julia. Relentless. Hey. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> oh, yeah. this guy's my favorite. You so like many. Strong man, not like your ex boyfriend. I just wanted to show you the ceiling fan. Oh my god. Show to you how strong this ceiling fan is and demonstrate my love to you, Julia. So we can when you and I when we go full throttle, Julia, I think that it's time Yes, dude. All right, that guy went for it. He went for it. Now the best would be if you get a surprise video from Garth Brooks. Oh my god. Backstage at his concert being like, Julia, I'm back here. Well, that would be the best. getting ready to perform for you. This guy, twenty thousand people <laughs> screaming your name, <laughs> screaming my name, if but they're screaming your name. Julia, me. Garth, if Garth Julia. sent us, and that's how he tells you, and that's how he lets you know, like nothing else, yeah. he just sends you that. Oh, he's so amazing, oh, dude. Why are you teasing me like this? I know. Sorry, dude. No, that would be amazing. Yeah, I, that's, that's. I would do nothing but Garth promos for the rest of my life. <laughs> Garth's got a show coming up in Florida tomorrow oh, night, 7.30. Now, do I you gotta, think, Tom, one yes. question. Do you think that if Joe's been made aware of the relentless taunting that we've been giving him, that he would learn the error of his ways? Do you think that this experience would have changed him? Or is he the kind You're of guy... you saying if he's cognizant enough to recognize yes. the humor in what's happened to no. him? No. No, is he cognizant enough now to realize that what he did to Juliet was so fucking inappropriate and wrong? No, I think well, he's on to the next. I think he's just like... She wasn't for me anyway. Some part of his mind knew. There's other bitch, flowers out there. The fucking thing. bitch. <laughs> that, that's in him for sure. There's a part of this that you should hear to answer that question. Okay. Because this phrase in particular <laughs> shows that in the moment when he sent the original one, he had some awareness. Correct. And here is the phrase. So this is the type of guy you're getting. I'm a very handy guy. And, it's almost uh, here. I'd love to build you whatever you want. You're a sweetheart. So, I hope this video doesn't scare you. There it is. But that's yeah. how I feel. He knows that it scares you. Okay. Him. See, you have enough awareness to go, I hope this video didn't scare you. Because he knows it did. Now, do you, now yeah. is it scarier to say that? You know what I'm saying? Where it's like... I don't know. It's I mean, that whole like prefacing it with that thing that you... like. He oh, knows right. it's scary. Like, he knows. Right. He fucked up. He knows, but he knows it's an aggressive move to send someone like a three-minute video the day after you met them in a parking lot. That, that what followed you... that? Did he say, no, I don't want this to scare you, but I feel like we should be together all the time from <laughs> here on out, and you should leave your ex, and uh, I can help you kill him. Don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared. That's the pitch. It, that's that basically the, the pitch. pitch. That can is put the his pitch. head in my ceiling fan. Yeah. I hope this video doesn't scare you. <laughs> yeah. That's... What does he say after that? Right after that. Here. Let's go so full this Trump. is the type of guy you're getting. I'm a very hand scare you, but that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I just want you to know that. All right. Okay? All right. I look forward to... Uh, Going out to dinner with you. No. So, let's make it happen. Mwah. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Oh, so that's yeah. his calling card. Mwah. That's his move. Yeah. That's his closer. 
Wow. By the way, Joe, you, you still doing the kiss? He's like, of course I do a kiss. Kiss, love, they love the kiss. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Chicks what are you the talking about? By the way, you think that's how, that's his first date, too? Like, instead of like, Chicks. he just stands five feet away from him and just goes, all right, yeah. we'll see you later. Mwah, and backs away and just like goes inside. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, not even a real kiss? No, Give it's me the a first real date, kiss. baby. Yeah. You got to come inside for that. Mwah. Oh. But see, I was telling her, I feel like that's so whoever like did that, like that was never a thing in the 40s no, or 50s. No, it's so it's, nasty. I feel he oddly does, uh, for his romantic interest, things that you would do for a, like a child. Yeah. Because you see like a kid, you might go, Mwah. Yeah. Because you over-exaggerate. Or, or a dog. Yeah. yeah. That kind of thing, it's, it's just weird that that's your, that's your lane for... Yeah, where did he learn that? Or did he see that in a... Movie or it was like an a, a black and white a talkie, you mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, Mwah, I love you guys, I love, I love, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> Mwah. Um, I gotta show you something. <laughs> she doesn't know this, but oh, this, no. no, this is good. Do you remember I like you a week this. or two ago? I hate surprises. No, this is a good one. Kay. I promise. <laughs> a week or two ago, you know, a lot of people have picked up on that we are having fun with Garth. <laughs> Somebody made an Instagram post, yeah, that was. So well done. That's great. People thought that it was me doing a joke, but actually she's a video effects artist <laughs> and she face swapped me with Garth. No oh way. Oh my God. And she, so people were like, I can't believe you got the hat and you put, the, I'm like, what are you talking about? She put <laughs> my face on a video of him. Brilliant. <laughs> but like scary where I saw it, I was like, Hoo! like I dropped my phone. <laughs> Her name is Jenna Sunday and uh, she's a video effects artist Great in, name. in uh, yeah. Vancouver. Jeez. So this is the video that she made just like for fun. She put this up, okay? The dream still lives oh my and my dream is for us to love one another. Oh my God. All of us. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. What so the fuck? Wait terrifying. a second, man. I wasn't ready for that. I know. I know. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, it fucking freaked me <laughs> oh, out, man. Oh, I don't like it, Dude, but I like it. Yeah. I don't like it, but I like it. The dream still lives. <laughs> and my dream is for us to love one another. All of us. Oh, my Dude, God. It's, yeah. I mean, it's, oh, <laughs> it's so, so freaky disturbing. what it would look like. So imagine, like, I open my phone, I'm like, what in the fuck? Because <laughs> I thought, I've seen Photoshop, but you see a mouth moving and you're like, no. And it doesn't look like, you know how... Uh, like Conan <laughs> used to do those things where he'd do the yeah. face and the mouth. No. Yeah, like this looks full on the person. So anyways, I reached out to her. I told her yeah. how big of fans we were, you know, of <laughs> Is this. that right? And I said, well, I was like, I, I go, this is amazing. Can you do any others? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So, oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Let's get physical playing music. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> look how stupid your eyes look. Look at that look like, so lip droopy. bite. Oh, so like everything is, my is dependent on. She explained it to me a little bit that oh, everything's dependent God. on body position, lighting, and, right. all, and like what what is available of me. Right, that that's your completely what, normal cover. So you're you're making an expression. Yes. By the way, yeah. these have got to make his way to oh. Garth's inbox. Oh, I and know. this is when he goes Torrance. Like, Either it's gone too far, or like, all right, now I respect the art form. Now you know? I respect no, it. I think it's gonna be the former. Some more <laughs> think of it more as a oh my gosh. I like that. <laughs> That's got a little Nicholson to it as yeah, well. Yeah, it does. I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. <laughs> but most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this. <laughs> it's so raw creepy. on the edge, I in my like, element. Yeah. Wait, is this like yeah. a These here's what's coming car. on my Instagram if on you your follow? Studio this G. is when he announced that he was joining Facebook. He made a, the weirdest post of all. That's why we don't were, know about that's that. That's why we're no. making fun of that's him. That's why it started. That's what started it all. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he's so lame. Because remember when Will media. Smith joined Instagram? Like that was a big deal too. But obviously, he did it in a very cool Big Willie style way. You know, he no. wasn't like this is going to be where you get the raw Willie stuff. You no. know, no, no. Garth is... has. There's nothing cool about Garth social media, and that's the problem. Is there anything raw? Well, I guess it's official. No, and there's nothing. So when he's like, raw. you're going to get raw stuff, like me telling you about how raw it's going to get. No, there's no. You know how raw it's going to get. Just me talking about the rawness that Garth is going to deliver. <laughs> you got to see this. No this is way. the actual video. This is the real. Oh, it's okay. so great. So this is just, imagine you just joined Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> Facebook. a year and a half so, ago or something. And you decide media. to post this Facebook. for joining Facebook. <laughs> well, I guess it's official. Oh my God. We're now on Facebook. <laughs> I really wasn't sure about this at the start. But then a friend of mine said something that just made all kinds of sense. She said, think of it more as a conversation. I like that. <laughs> but I'm already finding out on my own. 
and said it's wiping the walls out between you and me, and I really like that. Oh. It allows us into each other's worlds, or I, I guess in my case, the hotel room. What if he was watching Tiptoes? <laughs> when I think about things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. Oh. But most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff. Well, you got to like pick this. one, man, because that's a whole different genre. Slick oh, and raw. That's who I am. Ugh, he keeps I doing am. that sexy voice thing. It's no. Just too like, he's like, raw stuff. Raw stuff. Slick stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, man. So if this is truly a conversation, here we go. Oh then I say, let the conversation begin. What the uh, fuck? It was if so he ended weird. it with a. Then I'd be like, all right, Mwah. now I'm on board. Mwah. Mwah. You know? Julia. Slick stuff. Mwah. Like, come on back for more raw Garth. And I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is on. Is this getting as much attention f- from the world as you guys are giving it on this, this podcast? This video stuff? Garth is oh, Garth's Garth entrance is, to social media. Oh yeah, I don't know, we, well it? I don't know if he's getting. We're you're we've doing gone, a yeah. lot of the legwork, dude. His, his <laughs> educating America. Are yeah, you? No, his yeah. social media, his Instagram is over. It is it's over. destroyed. It's destroyed. <laughs> it's, just, I mean, it's destroyed. <laughs> Yeah, we've infiltrated. I mean, have, I yeah, people, dude. There's gonna be meet and greets where people are like coming up to him, like, oh, you're right, you know, right showing him this stuff greets. or telling him some of these sound bites. Dude, the meet and greets. Our mommies are probably gonna be like, "Hey, Hitler, wear him up, four stroke gang, high yeah, and tight." He's, be like, he's like, "What? what? Why is everyone telling me they want to jerk off with me this year?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's something that's been going. Oh yeah, they're like coming four strokes. Yeah, and, like, so all these comments memes. are inside jokes from us. Yeah. And they're usually vile, but like, <laughs> like s- some weirdly veiled. Or like they don't add up if you don't know what it. That's why everyone's like, "What's going on here?" <laughs> this is oh, dude. Okay. When he, you're gonna get him. By the way, yeah. I just feel like Garth, come it, on, come show. on, man. Come He's got to know about this. Okay, weird, okay. Be weird with us. Or how about this? I challenge. This is to the mommies. I know you can do this because you guys have risen to every challenge we've ever posed. If somebody here can meet Garth Brooks, get a video of you meeting him at a meet and greet or something. There you go. And throw out some mom's, your mom's house phrases. That would be the ultimate. Yes. That'd be great. Get him to do them. Oh my well, God. Get him to do that's it. That's actually. Because sometimes thing. they're oh. just so unaware and famous where they're like, hey, <laughs> say happy birthday to my Aunt Judy. Yeah. And then say, uh, you know, and then he'll just be like, oh shit. And he'll just. Keep your jeans high and tight. Oh man. Jeans you, up. Well, Todd then, and Christine. Then yeah. game over. Yeah. It is t- It is game over. We'll move on after that. Oh, yeah. that would be There's amazing. There's no top in that. But look, I didn't want to be. <laughs> I didn't want these videos to just be me. Oh, shit. So I also asked no if thanks. she could do one oh, fuck. or two of you. Oh, it's Trisha? Am so, I Trisha Yearwood? You want to see oh, her no. work? Of, yes, uh, come on. Okay, let's see Hanukkah's Trisha. over, but it's... Jenna Sunday's VFX work Uh-oh. for Christina. Okay, let's see. Wait, Jenna Sunday. Especially oh. in the vagina. Oh, my God. That's a port of There entry. you go. <laughs> There you go. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. That's Kim Ann. I know who it is. I don't I remember. <laughs> Thank you. In my asshole. Asshole. Two gentlemen. Asshole. Yeah. With extremely large. Especially <laughs> in the vagina. <laughs> That's the port of entry. I also That is horrendous. We said another Jenna. one. Jenna. Do you want to see the third a- one? Horrible person. Oh, she topped it. You want to see it? I don't oh, yes, know. Please. Here we go. Asshole. Christina, oh, here you go with your hit song. Stay in the day, in the day, in the day, in the day, in the light, in the day. I love it. Stay in the light, in the day, in the light. <laughs> um, my, face, my face looks a lot smoother than this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I don't know. You guys look like creams. Can I have this to put on my social media? Yes, you can. Oh, on the insane. Christina P. This on is Instagram. The guy, just so you know. Oh my god. <laughs> I had a feeling that was my next guess. If you were like, what kind of face do you think comes with that sound? <laughs> that would have been uh, Oh my god. I wonder if Holy him remember crap. the remember the golden voice guy? I bet it, you know, remember that guy who got discovered on the side of the road and he was yes. like, yes. Yes. He was like ninety five point five and yes. then he got like a craft singles commercial right and after that. Like, Got and he's like, Kraft got- macaroni and cheese. And he's like, yeah, rub the cheese sauce on your taint. And they're like, dude, we, that's Stop not, doing that. I think we yeah. got to mix it up. You're good. We're good on that take. And he's yeah. like, I got more. His voice was nuts. He was unbelievable, though. Yeah. Wait, but then didn't he smoke a bunch of crack and then yeah. lose that's it why, all? Yeah. Well, he blew all his money. They gave him like, yeah. I don't know, 40 grand. And- you can't give someone who's been living on the street. No. Like, no. Just a windfall. No. Like, You'll get it together, right? All right. So here we go. Like, <laughs> no, no, it doesn't you, work. You like give that. them like $10 a day. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, don't spend it all on Have them on a program. Yes. A couple more. You want to see a couple more? Oh, yeah, those Christ. are unbelievable. Okay. By the way, that's my new favorite thing that I've seen on the internet. Yeah, right. Because that and 
quality does matter. It does. Yeah. Because that really, you know, you but can't. But it's terrifying to it think, is. like with that first one especially, be like, if, oh if it was at that level, she threw that together casually, you know, didn't spend like weeks doing it. Yeah. Like what is capable, what is possible with, oh, with face swapping? Oh, and, to where, I mean, oh, to where like maybe they're doing it to where then people post videos. Like I mean, what if, what if po- like with this Kevin Hart shit that's going on? What if somebody posted right. some video with his face being like, and we got the tweets? We also have old footage of him saying stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's I mean, like, it, down with the Jews, down with the <laughs> <laughs> threw Jews in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we well, thought we were just talking about gays. Well, but, no. well, well you know. we don't know where and how far it goes. Especially the yeah. gay Jews. Yeah, the gay yeah. Jews. Yeah. Or if someone could, I don't know, maybe make Burt Kreischer the racist comedian <laughs> that he is. I don't know. You ready? Ready for this one, Gene? Okay. Here we go. True weed alone can get you a little hornier <laughs> than normal, but Benadryl, take about 10, 12 Benadryl before you want to have your sexual fun with your partner. Oh you my God. All right. Oh my God. I hate that so much. I hate it. Uh, how about this? Machines <laughs> worth thin. Machines worth thin. They got a gun. They got a gun. Yeah, I got a gun. Terminator gun. Yeah, machines oh, worth thin. Oh my God. Machines that is thin. amazing. T16. T16. If you guys are not on YouTube, yeah, yet subscribing you, look at this bit. you have to subscribe to your mom house channel you have yeah, to you see you guys got some videos. amazing stuff up there this video is holy crazy. crap um got another christina one here please okay hello everybody <laughs> oh boy Rain Florence. that one's good it's really good i'm going to do a urine enema for the first time. Oh, God. Uh, why would you capture that? <laughs> God, Christina, why'd you do this? I remember. I yeah. thought it was a good idea at the time. Um, <laughs> at the time. You're an enema. Everyone was asking me. Everybody wanted me to do it. Show us what it <laughs> looks like. She did such an amazing job. That's amazing. Thank I want to point this out before I show her last one. So Jenna is, uh, is she's Holy doing... Holy fuck. She did a... a Stay united. Performing Stay united. <laughs> at Yuck Yucks for the... This is going to be a stand-up for mental health 2018 summer class graduation show. Very cool. She's performing um, in she's this? She's performing well, in it. Great. So I'm, that's why I'm plugging it. Um, so it's going to be Sunday, January tw- January 13, 2019 at 7 p.m. at Yuck Yucks. You can go to smhsociety.org for tickets. I believe all the tickets will benefit. All profits go to the SMH Society. It's all mental health. Um, so if you're in the Vancouver area, you want to support a very talented, funny young lady and her class, uh, go to smhsociety.org. She made these, which are just uh, fantastic. That was um, amazing. Yeah. Super talented. It's really good, right? And this That's is her, her last one that Jesus I know Christ. will resonate with everybody who watches this show, but I'll just have to... Uh, that's got to take hours to do that. Oh, right? for sure. I, like, that's not an easy just drag no, and click. I don't think so. Yeah, you spend a lot of time. Asshole. Ready? Black guys who love <laughs> the fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot oh, black guy oh my you want to fuck me at oh. if you want to move in, you, you can, can move in, in, but you got to fuck me. Man. I, mean, I, need, I need to be fucked a lot. <laughs> Get rid free food, free rent, and everything else, man. Here's a deal, man. Here's a deal, from man. from jail, homeless. Oh, my God. And this is the landlord, thug. right? You want a free room, you got to fuck, man. Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Lease and a key. Fuck. I mean, I'm seeing my Something face on this guy right now. Jesus. You see me when I come over today and try it out, try it out, man. Is that trippy? Does it feel like an old God. sketch you did? That yeah. You're like, I'm, you're like, forget, like, did I do a YouTube like, video uh, back in the day yeah. that resurfaced? I remember shooting some stuff in college. Or was this me before stand-up? If I didn't <laughs> yeah. think, like... Okay. In my building, try it out. You want to fucking piss on me, try it out. I have to say... Fuck- yeah, this is amazing. This one is especially creepy because... Your mm. face shape and your dark under eye yeah. circles kind of match. Lend himself to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah. And that's. I didn't realize the similarity between you and the tried oh, out. Guy. Thank you very much for pointing <laughs> that out. There are a lot of similarities. Yeah. Trot out similarities. Uh, I will post. I mean, this that whole uh, highlight will be on our YouTube channel, but I'll post a couple of those Jesus. On, on my Instagram page. If that you was watch. terrifying. Holy shit. Um, God, somebody had to uh, ask for advice. Maybe Adam can jump in on Please. this. Please. It says, hi, Tim and Christine. <laughs> nice. I am a new college student. I'm having a hard <laughs> time adjusting to a bathroom situation, mainly the Oof. toilet okay. and the toilet paper department. As a hairy boy, I require <laughs> okay, man. plenty of wiping. <laughs> once He's being, up on the personal nicknames. I know. I'm a, a hairy, hairy boy. boy. <laughs> I'm a hairy boy. <laughs> being finished using the toilet, and this is something I was okay with uh, until getting to college at home, I have a nice soft toilet paper. Don't have any problems getting it all cleaned up back there. But now there seems to be some problems. My butthole yeah. is not only 
chafed after the amount of times I need to wipe, but Yikes. also I need to wipe even more with the lower quality paper. Ah, in like the oh, dorms. No. Oh, yeah. the dorm uh, toilet paper. It's dorm, like dorms are the worst. They really just they go to Kinkos and they're like, Do you guys got any leftover sheets? <laughs> right. What kind of deal can we get on a hundred thousand rolls of paper? Right. That's what they ask. And they're like, oh, This God. shit's fucking a dime. <laughs> Dude, like this? I just thought it was our dorms. Good to know that it's universal. The dorm uh, yeah. toilet paper was inferior. They go, so You're not terrible. gonna wipe your butt with this toilet paper, are you? <laughs> Wait, so that's so he used the well, really. So he says, "How do you believe I should bring about a change? I don't want college tuition rates to go up because of the change in toilet paper quality, but I can't yeah. keep living this way." No. Also, another thought: maybe a communal bidet could be in order. Whew. Oh, boy, that's a lot to ask from your school. It is, man. Yeah. So he's in Flushable. college. He's in college. A I communal mean, b- bidet? I mean, come on. No, Nobody it's offers never that. Never gonna happen. You could do that. I mean, here's the thing, though: these these kids, no. man, they get together and, and are, are changing the world. You're what right. About, get a Facebook. What about group getting going. them marching on campus? Like, well, clean our asses. Is, yeah. <laughs> like you know, if it, like all the hairy boys got together. And, if and we bidet marched. together, we'll stay together. There you go. Yeah. You there you go. Slogan. Yeah. Yeah, and you got to find a bunch of hairy boys. Bunch of, well, hairy, bunch of hairy boys. What if yeah. he's crusading for hairy boy rights? There you go. But boy is spelled B-O-I, now, and, and it's a more, non-binary hairy boy. Maybe get Harry cause. Styles to help lead the charge. The more he's like, I'm the hairiest of the hairy boys. <laughs> the more he could fucking um, exaggerate yeah. how marginalized your group That's is. That's right. That's right. And the more hysteria you can create. <laughs> right. I mean, the president of your school will soon be like, uh, we, I realize how wrong we've been for so long, yeah. ignoring the hairy boys. If you stir the pot enough, yes. yeah. someone's going to have to take a sip. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He's fucking crazy. Who said that? The Garth? Other, I don't know. Garth. <laughs> uh, the only other options are shave your ass, wax your ass, uh, flushable toilet wipes. But maybe that's expensive for a college. It's a kid, lot. You he know? can't afford those. Yeah. So, or maybe uh, he can. Maybe he's one of those rich no, college kids. I, no, it's I like, disagree. You guys, listen. No, he, he's not gonna. He's not gonna get a fucking bidet. It's not gonna happen. He's got a hairy asshole. Right. You have to invest in wipes at this point. Um, they're more discreet to carry into the bathroom than a roll of your own toilet paper which right, is another true. suggestion I yeah. would say buy a high quality and just br- but then you For don't want own. a girl to see you walking you're the weird the guy dorm. walking into the bathroom yeah. with your own teepee it's yeah, gross that's weird so get the wipes she's like oh is it B-Y-O-T-P and he goes yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she goes oh I guess it is it's like I don't want you to be scared <laughs> or yeah. or you can chip in <laughs> with some guys one. on your floor and you guys can that's all buy toilet is. paper together chime in together Get the yeah. make it a dude's thing Yeah. make it a dude's night out guys let's go get the better teepee tonight and you guys just have like a stack of rolls in the toilet and then you you share take it. but yeah. then yeah and then that's going to you know maybe there's like a 10 bucks a month type thing yeah but you That is an need... issue though college does that's the one thing that um I think they do slack on it's you know it's so I mean, terrible and you pay so much money I mean, and... I'm trying to go back to like you know my wiping days in college and it's oh, I'm having a tough time remembering fully but I know it wasn't like great I know I, never, I know I never was walking out being like you know what's the best part oh. about college oh man the acting school is pretty cool but I got the cleanest fucking butthole, you know, like. Well, I have another suggestion for him, actually. Okay. I don't know where your showers are in proximity to your toilet. That's a great question. But I used to, in our dorms, the ba- the showers are right there. So you could shit and then go straight to shower. It's a little gross in a communal setting, I uh, know. Yeah. But what are your options, you what know? What are your options? You got to keep your b-hole <clears throat> clean if you want to get laid. And I know that's a priority for college guys out there and girls. You, you really do. get laid. You really do. <laughs> it's the time. How about this question? It says, good morning, Julia. In order, <laughs> in an older episode, Tom tricked Christina into getting on all fours so that he could milk her. Tom, yeah, <laughs> Tom then that. requested that listeners try it out and report back about the reaction. It's years ago. That is years ago. Yesterday, I got my wife down on her hands and knees as I <laughs> reached for her tits. She yelled, are you going to fucking milk me? That's the last straw. Today, she served me divor- divorce papers, and I honestly cannot no. thank you to it enough. I have to go to work now. Mwah. Ciao, baby. Love, Joe. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the milkman. I milk remember man. that. I remember that. Yeah. You got me good. I did. You piece of shit. <laughs> You're like, hey, wait, get on your floors. I want to show you something. And then you started. he started to milk my tits. And I was oh like, babe. Oh, my God. Was it like a weird fetish or what? Yeah, no, he's just good. trying to be funny. Yeah. He's yeah. trying to be a clown. I was I funny. shirtless at the time? Uh, did you get I me down? So. <laughs> Do you like big tits? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my rabbi That's again? my mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you like big tits? <laughs> How about this one, Gene? This is for you. Uh-oh. It says, hey, Hitlers, my triple D slut wife always has positive <laughs> <laughs> comments. What about... the fuck? <laughs> Such a normal email opening. What up, guys? So anyway, my big ass titty slut wife. That's because it's a saying on our show. I know, I know, I know. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I'm, very, I'm very familiar. It's just He's, still okay. amazing. Triple D uh, slut. They want to yeah. know about your lipstick choices. She wants to know what oh, brand okay, she uses yeah. specifically 
the red ones so that she can try it out. Thanks, I know. Bradley. Okay, I'm going to tell you oh guys once God. and for all because I get many inquiries. Yeah. Okay. A lot of you have been asking about the scarf I'm wearing. A lot of people are asking, <laughs> yes. Uh huh. But wait, Tom and I, do you ever have people on? You ever seen people on Instagram that were like, a lot of people have been asking about this yes. shirt I wear? Yeah, it's like, yeah. like nobody's asking, nobody. asking you, dickhead. Like you're like, people keep hitting me up about this hat. And you're like, what, two fucking people? <laughs> like, Nobody like asked. You're like, I can barely fucking walk through the airport. You're like, okay. Nobody fucking asked. 30 views. Okay, so I'll tell you finally, once and for all, I'm only going to say it once. Oh, great. God. Your girl really? uses, I'll tell you, there's a few different shades, but the, ba- the brand is called Smashbox, and it's made specifically for like television or long wear. That's why I wear it. It lasts forever on stage. The color I generally wear is called infrared. What? No, I'm reading something. I'm sorry. Okay, it's called infra, (laughs) I-N-F-R-A-R-E-D. And it'll stay on for fucking hours and hours, but infrared, yeah, it's a mat. Love it. Smashbox, there you go. This this, this email was making me laugh, so another email came in. (laughs) I can't wait. It says, my question is for the water champ herself, Miss Christina Thank you. I'm finally getting a lot of acknowledgement. Okay. As a fellow lady of Hungarian descent, or proud bohunk, if you will, Mm -hmm. I have found that I am an avid consumer of water. In fact, I would say that my bohunk mother and I drink more water than anyone else I know. My boyfriend never drinks water, Mm -hmm. and I often find myself disgusted by the color and smell of his urine. (laughs) I can't understand how anyone can drink anything other than water when they are truly parched. Yeah. How do you deal with the fact that Tommy (laughs) only consumes his caca water Starbucks drinks? (laughs) And because of that, how do you smell? How do you handle the smell of his man juices? Piss on me and beat me and keep him high and tight. Love, Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. Smell what you're not smell like a dude. Yeah, go ahead. Ashley, I'll tell you real talk that this the whole discussion about the water champ came because Tom peed in the shower with me. Oh boy. And it smelled like someone had dumped a carafe of coffee in the shower. God damn. Did you give a heads up or did you start going? Oh, he just, just went. Just yeah. goes on yeah. me all the time. It's wife. Do you do wife. that yeah, yet yeah. to your you that to your lady? No. No. No, it, it, that's is that a do you wait till marriage for that or? No. No. No, he did that. No, Get out of the way before so you know like yeah, there's yeah, a preview. Got, that's yeah. how Tom If you're feels. cool. Yeah. If you're real cool then you'll be all right with this. That's how I, br- I broke the fart barrier in the most bold of ways. Yeah. Wow. You know, we have been dating a little bit. Isn't then... Harrison Ford in the fart barrier? <laughs> <laughs> you got a spit dick. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was so random. That was uh, Jack the Ryan. The right? yeah. yeah. goes, it smells like shit. It smells like shit. The how did it get in here? <laughs> The fart the barrier. The fart barrier, man. Harris, sorry, Harris. He fart. did a lot of great movies. He <laughs> did. Fart People bar- sleep on the fart barrier. The fart barrier is like Fugitive, <laughs> yeah. Air, Air Force One. All the Indiana Jones. All the Indiana Jones. <laughs> Wait, what is the plot of the fart barrier? <laughs> the fart barrier, where it's like there's a- He's running from the fart. The terrorist. <laughs> He's a fart fugitive. There's a terrorist group, oh, yeah. and they take over <laughs> the U.S. Capitol, and they, yeah. they have a fart barrier outside of it, <laughs> and nobody wants to go in to save them. You remember that? <laughs> You don't remember that? Well, it's a movie. Everyone's <laughs> farting on the outside of it, and he goes, yeah. I'll go out there. <laughs> Fart there. I love that Harrison Ford is the most respectable actor. He is. He, he is. never is frivolous, ever. He was at the Laker game last night, and they put him on the Jumbotron. He, he was, he was there? Harrison Ford and the fucking yeah. thing. Kevin Costner was there. Oh, sorry. Also <laughs> great. <laughs> wow. One. I mean, he's already. T- I know, I'm so, you're such already limited. turning into my mom. I have such hey, limited brain. Two guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have two small Wasn't that children. Diane Keaton? No, yeah. that was Lucy Liu. Jesus, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I have two small children. I have no oh, bandwidth. They have. Uh, Will Ferrell was there. He oh, got a huge one. Denzel awesome. was there. That's a Denzel big one. Great. That should always be the biggest. It yeah, was it actually. Was, it was. It was the biggest, except that um, <laughs> it was the biggest for acknowledgement. Yeah. But Will performed, meaning so Will got even bigger. He's a comedian. Yeah, no. he did something. Yeah, fun but for he the did time. a well, funny face. Yeah, what happened he was, like, was like, yeah. like Kevin Costner didn't even know he was on. Like his kid kept being like, "You're on the fucking oh, thing." Oh, Kev, come on, man. Right. So he was like that, and before that was oh Jessica Biel got a big ovation. Very cool. Uh, what's the quarterback? Jared Goff. Yeah, for the Rams. He, he got me. I don't think they even knew it was. I don't think they recognized him honestly. He looks like a contestant on Double Dare or Wild. And crazy kids that just grew up and like, it like, like I'm somebody. still acting, yeah. you know. So it's like building, build. It's like oh, people are cheering, yeah. cheering. Then Denzel, they go fucking ape shit, love it. But then they cut to Will Ferrell after him, big ovation, and he goes yeah. Like <laughs> really and funny. Will's angry, funny. F- yeah. It's like, the funniest. Yeah, it's the yeah. best. Yeah. Uh, yeah last league game I went to, met Jack Nicholson. You met oh, him? Oh, how? Oh, one of my favorite actors of all time. Of course. He's at the game. He leaves at one point. And um, and 
uh, we where we were sitting, we had access to this like there's like a side room that's like where you can get drinks and food like at halftime. You're on the floor. We weren't on the floor, but we were in. We just had access to it somehow. Okay. Uh, my buddy goes with? to like, Adam Devine, so he's got tickets. Why to is the, he such a big Clippers game fan? He was well, big NBA fan, and I think you know Omaha, where he grew up, didn't have a team. Mm -hmm. I think when he got out here, he was just like, I'm a Clippers guy. Yeah, Lakers just, were. I can't. I don't know how he got well, it. Oh, Lakers. he loved Blake Griffin and Chris Paul, and DeAndre Jordan, and what they is were he, big. Fourteen. And they were workaholics fans, so it was like oh, okay, a mutual okay. thing. I think they might have hit him up, and then he went to games. And because I remember him being a Clippers fan for a while. He, yeah, since he got here. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, when he got, he would have got here when the Lakers were smashing. Him. Yep. Maybe it was one was of those like, things of like I'm taking the other side. I'm taking the other side. Yeah. All right. um, so we we go and back. like all those guys are sorry. All the all the I remember all the workaholics guys would go to those games. Yes. Right. Eric Griffin goes. They got season tickets. Yeah. So then they would go. Eric is the most insane person to go to a basketball game with because he just talks so much shit. I mean, in he the best in out. the best way. And he's got that big voice for his yeah. voice. Yeah, and right. he's like, we don't want y'all shit. Get, and they fucking turn yeah. around all the time. Really. And sometimes they recognize him, so then they laugh. And other times they're just like, man, fuck you, you know, like yeah. yeah. But so we go to the back area, and there's this little like bar area, and then you go to the bathroom, and you walk straight back, and then there's like uh, two doors to the bathroom, and then like a little hallway in the back where you can kind of almost wait, or there's a chair in the back corner facing where your people are standing in line to get into the bathrooms. And I just walk back there, and Jack's just sitting back there, legs spread, holding the coffee, looks like just an old man chilling on a porch. Like just back there, just like Ugh. sunglasses on, smiling, not talking to anybody. So now there's all these dudes and girls lined up. I mean, it's a small area, maybe four or five, and everyone sees him and he's looking at us, kind of looking down, and and you're trying to like everyone's gauging, like, do I say something? Right, right. So one dude in front of him, and he's like looking at the girls as they go into the bathroom, and you know, have a good one. You know, he muttered something. Take a good shit. Yeah, good, yeah, good luck with that piss, you know, and uh, and uh, <laughs> That's so weird. And good so luck with that piss. I mean, again, paraphrasing, but he said something, and they. <laughs> Girls laughed like you yeah. know Jack Nicholson, and then I remember the guy in front of me was like, "I got gonna, toilet paper I'm gonna on throw my tongue." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, "I'm yeah. gonna throw a hail mary and say something." So he goes, "What's up, Jack?" And he goes, "Hey." And he goes, "What you doing, man?" And he goes, takes a pause, looks down, and then goes, "The fuck does it look like I'm doing?" Oh. Is that what he said? Yeah, and he goes, "I'm drinking a coffee in the corner," and I go, "Awesome." Oh, yeah. And then the guy goes. Hell yeah, man. And he goes, <sighs> like, fucking guy. Yeah. And then oh, he goes through, and then I get up there, and I'm like, hey, man, I'm an actor. You're the man. And, like, you know, and then he was like, cool. And I go, yeah, man, I got an act, and you were my favorite, still are. Like, you're a god. Hope you're having a good time. He goes, it's a great time to, to live, isn't it? And I was like, yeah, man. When are we going to see you in movies again? He's like, who knows? And I was like, yeah. Fair enough, you know? Yeah, you did a real fan thing, though. That's that was nice, cool. though, but you were you're polite. Like, yeah, genuine and polite. Yes, and also it's like, a, like you know, we're talking about, know, like, do you approach, like... I don't know what to say. Oh, man. It's terrible. It was also in such a confined area that I was like, sometimes, you know, it's weirder to just stand there in silence. Yeah. I mean, not for, like, urinal small talk. I'm a big non-advocate of that. Like, yes. if someone talks to you... I remember one urinal. time some guy said something, he was like, man, aren't these urinals, like... Too uh, too small. It makes my uh, or too big. It makes me feel like my dick's too small. Okay. And like basically, it would have been weirder for me not to say anything. So I was like, Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, I bet you're fine. You know, like just chiming back in. He's and, like, No, look, look yeah. at it. <laughs> look at it. Look at my dick. What do you think? It's like, don't yeah. talk at the urinal. Wait no, a minute. I like Can I urinal, answer right? this girl's question? Girls don't do though? This. Yeah. She asked how I deal with it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the point is, uh, is that you sometimes drink so little water, and I'm being serious. If you look at our desk right now, what's he drinking? Brown soda. It's not brown. I'm drinking it's water. Clear. And sometimes when you drink a lot of can coffee during the day, I can yeah. smell it coming out of your pores. Yeah. I'll smell your forehead. Yeah. And it'll smell like coffee. Yeah, I'm going to get one after this. Right, but you got it that mocha seeps. forehead. I got he it. does have a mocha forehead. <laughs> I do. I got it. By the way, that's the, the name of the um, the uh, lead actor, the young kid in Fart Barrier. <laughs> Is mocha forehead? Mocha forehead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he's trying. That to That was stop. his breakout. The film. fart barrier. It was introducing the fart barrier. Yeah, because there's always like in a movie like that. There's always some young kid that you're like, who's, who's this guy? This? It's mocha, mocha forehead. forehead. What's his real name? No, that's it. Apparently, yeah, yeah. mocha forehead. He's been acting since he was a fucking uh, yeah. toddler. I'll show you his yeah. Cheerios commercial. You don't, but you <laughs> don't pee enough because you don't hydrate enough. You don't. Pee. I'm the same way, man. I need more. Wa Are you just so much coffee? Well, look what he's drinking. Black fluid too. He's drinking black oil. fluid. He's drinking oil. <laughs> Ugh, you're gonna you're gonna get kidney stones if I'm you keep to, up at this rate. I know. I'm trying to. I'm think serious. Of, That's gonna be a painful thing. I, I'm trying to think of what I would say. Cause to Jack Nicholson too, though I feel like that's a tough. One. I I know what I'd ask him. 
What's that? What we were talking about last night when you're sitting you at court last side. Night, dog? You smash? No, because he sits court side. <laughs> what? Now, how does Jack Nicholson take a piss during the Laker game? Mm-hmm. Because won't he just get swarmed by fans? What do you think? So how What's does he answer? how does he piss when he's sitting fucking courtside? Um, a little bottle and just whips it out. That's like, what I was you get saying. Courtside, you get like it's like the benefit of being that close. They're like, I, Jack, well, we love it. it's a lot of publicity for us. If you yeah. whip it out and just go, and he's like, I was already planning on it. Yeah, <laughs> I was planning on it. And then one of the Laker girls comes over with a cup. Holds it, yeah. Yeah. pulls his dick out. Yep. Yeah. He pisses into it. He goes, but I'll shake and, myself. Oh, he shakes sh- himself. Okay. okay. No, I like it. Yeah. I like it. He, I think that's the part where he goes, it'll get weird if she does it. <laughs> I think when it gets full and like he puts his dick away, she looks at him and he goes, You can take a sip if you want. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, <laughs> And, and then he like, goes, yeah. No, really. No, really. Take a sip. She's like, mm. yeah. and She goes, Taste. Good. And yeah. He's like, yeah, you know it does. Yeah, yeah. And then just get out of here. I think that's how it goes. Can I tell you watching? Watch anger management on TBS. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that's such a funny. I, I love feel that. like I feel like his stories of how he closed deals with chicks has got to be the greatest unrivaled. Of all time. How of many Laker girls do you think he's nailed? Because great question. He obviously that's happened. I mean, there's so many different genres of women that you could ask that question about. Seven. Like, we could be like, how many women do you think he's nailed? How many? No, just Lake, how many women at Lake taco or girls. fucking places? No, just but just I'm saying because he's at the Lake games girls. every yeah. week. Well, we're talking 80s, 90s, 2000s, right? And and no, those, 70s, right? And those Laker wow. girls, they make what fifty dollars? Not a lot. One of my buddies' show? girls was for a while, and it sucked, man. You do it just they give to you be two there. seats, and they were up on the nosebleeds, and they're just like, "This is a privilege. If you don't want to yeah. do it, we'll find yeah. somebody that's else." Right. And, and they, they will. And they will. What a that sucks. That was that story about the Cowboys cheerleaders. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah something like. But back to your thing, Nicholson. Has smashed a lot. Yeah. Probably more than Wilt Chamberlain, who they said, you know, was oh, over Wilt, like, yeah. they say like over like a million. He said he served like 50,000. Now hold 50, on though. I'm going to throw a wrench in your theory. It's like three a day for 50 Hello. years or something. <laughs> Here's where I'm going to throw a wrench in your theory. <laughs> yeah. Jack Nicholson did not get famous until he was about 28 or 30 years old. Now hold old, on. I would say older than that. Okay. So, okay. So let's yeah. say what, mid 30s? Yeah. Maybe yeah. late 30s. So Easy Rider, he does when he's 28. That's yeah. like his. For big one. Mm-hmm. Now you look at somebody like Justin Bieber, who's been busting nuts since he was like that's true. twelve. That's a really good point. So since he wrote "Busting Nuts," yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Which, 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 which was nine single, yeah. right? Busting nuts. Yeah. So Bieber has been start. He started earlier. So you, you know, what I'm saying, you have to take that into account when you're looking at nuts busted mm. throughout mm. the years. So when is Nicholson? When does he get famous? Can we look that up? Yeah, let's and see. And do you do the math? Let's see. When yeah. was Cuckoo's Nest? Was that? <laughs> Let's see or no, here. I'm sorry. That's shining. The, that's shining. The shining is what, 1980 or something, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Hold 82? on. Let's see. Jack Nicholson. And I bet he was before be... too. I bet he was that guy in acting class. He's 81 like, now. Yeah. He's 81. Yeah. So I he, saw, but he got started late. I saw 81 year old Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Tell someone like, what the fuck do you, does it look like I'm doing? But see, he doesn't yeah. have as much that's old man swagger too. Yeah. Just like, but he I'm doesn't have as chair. much stamina, Tom. Right. <laughs> if he's starting fucking at like. I, I, Late thirties. I'm with you. So he may like you know what I'm saying. Viagra didn't come around until when? Early 2000s. I don't know. Do you think this guy fucked a lot though? That when guy he was like that. Of course, a dude. Lot. Give me a break. You're like, hey, you, you'd say like, Jack, Jack, do you sleep well? He's like, well, I don't have any cum left in me. So yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's all brittle. If, if he said that on like a Jay Leno interview, if <laughs> there's a like, soundbite uh, of him somewhere, I'd be like, how do you sleep, Jack? Well, there's no cum left. All right. Well, we'll be on that vertical horizon, Tia. <laughs> so I'm all out of cum. That's his last. Can, movie. Let's see if we can figure oh this out. Oh my God! Let's see. The, the Jack Nicholson cum. documentary. His biography yeah. or autobiography? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be the story of his. What life. would it take for out him to cum. genuinely chronicle like just the the tales? I mean, would any? Because no one, no Hollywood elite has ever done that, right? Like. Leo, like these guys that are known for being just such poon hounds. Yeah, yeah. Like to actually l- <laughs> write some book where he was like, chapter one, Denise. You know, <laughs> right. chapter like, like eight hundred forty million. I mean, well, that like, can you do math? Are you good at math? I'm all right. All right. So <laughs> let's let's figure out this age thing because I'm I'm kind of curious now. So you do the math. You do the math. So he's born in thirty seven. Okay. Jesus. And I'm looking at when <laughs> when Sold. like can I calculate? <laughs> I know. Well, I'm just trying to look yeah, at how cal- old he was in certain things here. So what's 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 the big one you said? Easy Rider, like the breakout. Easy Rider's his first right. role. So that's sixty nine. The big one. So that's thirty two. Yeah. So he's thirty two. Sixty nine. He's thirty two for, for Easy Rider, and that's like the beginning of the right. ascent. He's in all this stuff before that 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 doesn't really. Yeah, yeah. Then Chinatown is huge. Huge. That comes out in seventy four. Yeah, that was okay. was that almost like his. Hey, 
here's Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that would be like when you really start smashing hard. Yeah. So 74, What's how old is he? What's the math on that? He's, all, he's, a, he's gonna be- He's born in what, 35? 37, so he's gonna Jesus. be 40, so he's 30. Um, Open your calculator. No. So what, so 37. He's 37, he's 37. Yeah. So he's yeah. 37 there. Late start, oh, yeah. late start. But, but also- No Viagra back then. No, yeah, but you're 37. He's now he's he's more mature, so he really knows how to play the game more. See, if you learn, mm. if you're chasing getting puss in your teens and early twenties, your game's kind of weak because you didn't really develop. Like, true, true. So he actually is way more confident and grounded because he's true. almost forty. More selective, maybe. Yeah. Then he wins an he's, Oscar. Yeah. He wins oh, an Oscar shit. for yeah. uh, maybe I don't even know if he won one for that, but he won one for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest in '75. So he's what. Uh, about to turn he's 38 there. plus you're getting yeah. that high-end model stuff you know what i'm saying you're getting like the famous actresses you're oh, getting yeah. the muriel hemingways or and whoever. it is fucking it's pump and dump you're I'm getting sure the extras just... think about oh, the extras yeah. from like and that as era as it gets <laughs> think about the girls that were like uh, i'm not really a greg kinnear girl i'm more of a you know yeah. something's well, got to give you've got to yeah. have daddy issues if you're banging nicholson yeah you think he was, so? he's always been old so you, you know what i'm yes, saying yeah. like he's always had a very um you know, just fatherly demeanor. Yeah, I was watching Christmas Vacation and Great movie. Doris, and what's her name? The, the Shining, mom. The Shining yeah. in 1980. Wow. Those people are always old. Like Alan, Alan Arkin. Yeah, yep. yeah. He's always been old. Yeah. We were like, dude, this fucking Is there a old. young Alan Arkin picture? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you want to see it? <laughs> Should we look it up? I'd love to see your face on an Alan Arkin <laughs> video. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, how old? Yeah, he looks old as shit. Yeah, he's always just been. But he's always been old. I've never seen him. Young in a film. Yeah. Same with Doris Here Leachman. Is that right? There's Alan Arkin. Whoa. Wow. Oh, he's cute. Yeah. Good he's looking sweet. guy. But this is how he's you so know him. so funny. Yeah. yeah. Old as fuck. Damn. Just always old. He's so funny. I know. He's so fucking so funny. Good. Trebek is another one of those guys that I feel like has just always looked yeah. the same. Yep. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This guy right here. Out of cum. Whoa. For sure. No cum left. <laughs> Totally drained. Yeah, you've got his eyebrows. You've got Nicholson. Oh, eyebrows. this guy! Come on, look at that smile, yeah. dude. Yeah. Great, smile. great skin. Rocks smash, a tank. Smash, 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 smash. <laughs> oh yeah, come on, come on. Now well, that's the stuff. That's the pre. Yeah, this stuff. is pre. Yeah, this is when he was yeah. like, "Who am I?" Yes. Okay, well, let's talk about. I'm drinking a coffee, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about. 81 years old. He probably was still that guy. I bet he's been Jack all the time. Yeah, you know. Yeah. People that know him since he was that young were like, "Oh yeah, he's always just been." Of course. What about Burt Reynolds? Talk about a smash machine. Wow, real hound. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he calendar full all the time. Yeah. Especially, especially he had more of a window. I feel like that's I what I'm feel saying. Like Nicholson's puss is kind of spread out. But Reynolds had a 10-year window where... He was the king. Yeah. The king of showbiz. That guy was banging it. Now, what about a guy like Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, legendary. Yeah. yeah. Legendary. That guy's been smashing since... He, and he started he early in even, showbiz, he too. He doesn't know what it's like to not be adored. He doesn't have memories of no. that. No. He started, like, he was fucking acting, two years old. Exactly. So he was famous, like, at 14 doing movies. Yeah. So Dude, imagine... Growing Pains uh, puss. He was probably just, sure. right? Oh, that yeah. that cute little kid on set. Oh, That's Kirk, all he's done. Kirk Cameron's like, dude, why are he's you like fucking 40, man? Save yourself. He's got to be like early 40s. <laughs> right, he's yeah. Right? yeah. He's got early 40s and he's just been a movie star for decades. Whoa. Yeah. Now, what about Kirk Cameron? When he was on Growing Pains, was he, was he Christian then? Yeah. So he, he was? wasn't oh, smashing? No, the... no. He was being like a dude. good boy yep. then? Yep. What a waste. What a and it's loser. weird that I know that, but I, when he really came out and was just like, God. If my kids were gay, I'd fucking send them to uh, you know gay Ur camp. Uruguay, yeah, or yeah, gay camp or something. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and it was just like, oh, you psycho. And then he just, and then they would go back and be like, and apparently Kirk Cameron always felt this way. Wow, it was the same guy did the VO for Tiptoes, and he, yeah. just like the gays. Yeah, and he was like, and so they'd be like, and and the I, I don't know if they interviewed other actors or something. They were like, yeah, man, he was like the hottest shit ever, but he just like girls would come to his dressing room, or whatever, and he'd just be like ghetto, like he was just very much like. Maybe he's a. That's not what this is for, and just you know. Yeah, he's he might be a. Um, Him and Leo must have butted heads for sure. We oh. He must have sure, been right? gay inside for sure. You know what I mean? When you fight it that hard, I mean that's and you're so like, You think so? When you're like, I I hate the gay. Yeah, <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, I would send my like, kid to gay convert. Like, yeah. what are you so afraid of? Yeah. You know that he knows something else is going on, and he doesn't yeah. want to acknowledge it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, whenever I look at a guy, 
Let's get all his so blood goes down. Yeah. He's like, Leo, get out of here, man. Stop telling me about all these women or I'm going to fuck you. He's like, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. No, nothing. I'm just, I mean, <laughs> just let's run lines. Um, we have to ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Christina seems to think that I find certain things funny that she doesn't find funny. I got to go so. pee. Now's a great time. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to be here for this. I got to pee. So this segment's called Horrible or Hilarious. And you it. just watch it and you just react. Great. And we just see what Look happens. These I love it. Okay? Angels. I love this. Let's see. Is this funny to you? Oh, fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much you like that. Oh, God. I put my leg in. <laughs> You're going to murder me in my sleep. <laughs> okay. Horrible, hilarious. So far, it's a great intro. Another that's just a, that's just an song. intro. Yeah. So here's the clip. Okay. You got to watch too. I know. I don't want to, but I okay. will. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be. Uh, oh, oh shit. God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. That's, this is the difference between guys and girls. You think so? When they say there's no difference in the genders, this yeah. is definitely. Oh man, come on. Well, there's no. a lot of genders. Which genders are you talking I'm about? I'm sorry. A bug uh, naked window fall. Come on. But he's dead. He landed on a track. No, he's no, fine. He's not. Look. <laughs> yeah, no. The way he hit. Look, he's probably gonna get some sort of reconstructive surgery. But yeah, he's bruised. That garbage can. Yeah, he's bruised. He's That's fine. the thing about dudes. There's resilient. Like he's probably fallen out of a of a tree as a kid like that. She's she's so yeah. Sad. But all I picture is my son. Like Why? your falling. son's not doing this. Yeah, but he might one day. What was oh, that guy yeah. escaping from? Boy, I think. don't know, but something <clears throat> that with a lot of clothes. Yeah, because he was um, he was really trying to get out of there. Can you imagine me in that situation where no. like if the oh guy like God. I a guy immediately pictured like he was with some girl and the guy came back and he's like oh, I just right. got to get out now. Oh, and you yeah. don't even have time to think, and there's only one way out. Because the guy's there. That's what you thought. So, that's exactly what happened. So he got outside. I never thought that. And the guy was like, You really gonna jump out the window? You know, I'm just, I don't yeah. know. It seemed, it's like Ricky it wasn't, it seemed like it wasn't in America it didn't where that seem, was happening. It didn't seem local. Did. I didn't recognize that's the trash can. <laughs> yeah. I didn't recognize the fun of the trash can. That's cans. true. Wait, what that's did true. you think was happening? That's the I, only storyline. Oh, I thought it was, uh, like, my immediate thought was this is a mentally ill man hanging out outside <laughs> of his window. No, he's yeah. having an affair and the and the other guy. I'm telling you what I thought. We'd oh, have to find out more information. Ill. Yeah, I, I went Do you think he was like, I'm going to go change the thermostat, and the next thing you know, he's outside, and his roommates are like, he does this a lot. He's a little off. Yeah. Yeah. He's touched. And then so you he think that, is, do we see somebody? Here's the thing, though: is somebody in the in the building, the room that he was uh -huh. in? Uh -huh. Yeah. Come here, no. See what I mean? Oh. Like no one's there, there, like pointing, grabbing. It's like he's alone. Well, maybe the wife is dealing with her husband right now. Does he sleepwalk? The husband probably wants to murder this guy. He's not really trying to pull himself. And did he let go? Either. No. Oh, he's probably stuck. Oh God. <laughs> God. <laughs> I love the one person there that just had no clue someone was hanging. I know. On the right? It's yeah, you're right. Like she turned no, around over like, here. What the fuck? Over here, someone. Damn it, Darren. Like this building's this. full of naked dudes hanging outside the window. Oh, yeah. This person doesn't real. You're right. Yeah, see? She turns around. Holy like, sh Imagine you're just walking. Oh, and my a God. I don't like it. Like, what is that noise? I don't like this at all. Like she's just carrying her laundry. How about Mr. I don't even flinch? This guy was just like. He was waiting for it. That's Maybe that's the guy. Maybe that's the guy that was in the room. Now I can. And the, he's outside the window, and he yeah. goes, he goes, go ahead, hang out there. I'll meet you downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Because he doesn't even sure flinch. Doesn't even flinch. He bounced off that trash can. It's so nuts. That's a lucky fall too, because he is fine. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. If you miss those trash cans, that's it. That's a wrap yeah. on the day. So what's the vote? Horrible or hilarious? Hilarious. Yeah. Christina, you guys are sociopaths, both of you, and you have no. Thank you. No I think blood I'll take that as like, in your body. No, no heart. No, I think that's no heart That's what you mean to chest. say. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's holidays. It's I find rude that rude of you to say. Now, that. do you find and, physical stuff like that funny at all? Is it because he wasn't no. clothed? No, I, I, I as I a mother, you not think of your sons yeah, the doing thing crazy is, shit. As a person of earth, a sweet person, a person of a earth, a person that with sympathy, and I can put myself in other people's <laughs> shoes. You are good at that. Um, I just don't. I don't like seeing others get hurt. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Hilarious. There Hilarious. goes my veneer. See? There goes my fucking fake teeth. <sighs> what about like jackass stuff? Don't find any. I like loves that. it. But you know why I love it? Sociopath. Yeah. No, no, no. Because You're it's one not, of us. It's not, no, because it's not accidental. Those are adults. They're consenting and they're doing it of their own free will. That looks like an accident. When they're uh -huh. accidental, it's like, oof, they didn't want to do so that. So if his buddy had looked in the camera right before and been like, all right, it's time yeah. for naked German wall jumps. Yes, yeah. and, and I'd be like, like, you fucking <laughs> idiot. Yeah. 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 Totally. Um, right. Different story. Fair enough. About last night is 
the podcast that Adam and Brad do together. Yeah, you guys have been doing it for a minute. Doing it for now. about five years. Uh, I've had Tommy on, uh, Sandra Bullock, Bill Burr, Dana Carvey, Melissa McCarthy, Jason Drulo. Jeez Louise. You know, Patrick Harris. It's a lot of fun. Big times, yeah. Big They're times. fun. You know what? Uh, we you gotta know, have you on. We you know what? I'm Brad dying happened. to. You know what Brad told me when he was here. Did he tell you? I listened to that. Uh, episode. He was like, "You gotta listen. do it sometime." And I was like, "I, I have heard done it, I, dude." <laughs> when I listen to him say at the end, and I go, "You're closing the podcast with a, I don't remember you were on my podcast." Oh, yeah, <gasps> yeah, yeah. yeah sure. I scolded him. Yeah. Do you beat the shit out of him? I hope. So. I just kind of like put my hand down <laughs> and, and you and, go and palm him. I go, Tiptoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've been doing it for about five years. It's a long time. Yeah. You guys are so sweet. It's a blast. And You're as I was just telling pair. you, we're, um, oh wait, no, I can't say it yet. Oh, you can't? What I was going to say about the. Oh, wait, and don't forget, you got to show me. I mean, we're going to wrap The porn video, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, adamraycomedy.com for huh? my tour dates. Um, where yes, are you, you going to be? Where are you going to be, be coming temp- out? Where's, when's this coming out? This will come out uh, tonight. Fuck yes. Yeah. Uh, Tempe Improv next weekend. Mm-hmm. Tempe. Uh, in Arizona. And then um, January is uh, Helium in uh, Portland and I'm Philly. I'm sorry, Helium. Helium. It's a hard Sorry. Helium in Portland and Philly. And then Spokane Comedy Club, uh, and then Punchline in San Fran. Those are all good. Yeah. All Those great, are all good. All great venues. And then uh, Comedy Works in Denver for the first time. Oh, oh which one are you doing? Downtown. Downtown. Oh, I've only done the south one. It. I'm pumped. Oh, get it's ready so to good. never go back to any other club. Yeah, I know. Brad, best. we just did a live podcast there, Brad, and I was oh, John Heffron fuck. and Josh Blue, and it was like, oh. that place is Unfucking real. It's Best magic, audiences magic. in the country. I don't know what's something about the under, first of all, just underground comedy clubs, I feel like are. Uh, just a little extra special, yeah, right? Cool. Like, so too. And then the way it, it just uh, holds in the, um, it's where I think actually I'm going to premiere the trailer for uh, for Fart Barrier. <laughs> Fart Barrier would be great. Yeah. I can't wait is for that, Fart Barrier. No, is that the screening you're we going maybe to make in New York fake. or no? So I have a couple scenes in this Jennifer Lopez movie called Second Act that's coming out. Oh, I've oh. seen the yeah. billboards for yeah. that, Adam Ray. A couple scenes, and it might be, I've been told a couple scenes, it could be a couple lines. But, <gasps> uh, oh yeah, it's always fun when but you I'm, don't know. But the director of it, I've known for a little bit, his name is Peter Seagal. Uh, he directed Tommy Boy in like 50 First Dates and Nutty Professor. And and um, so he threw me this little thing and, and, uh, and I just want to go and... Hang on, I got a buddy that's going to go with me to the premiere. And that's awesome. Speaking yeah. of Seagal's, Steven Seagal makes movies too. Yeah, his movies are really good. You, you may want to be out. in his. Oh, yeah. 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 That's actually why I'm here. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. We have a direct line. I know so. you do. Yeah. So, uh, bridge well, the gap. I'll tell you what, as soon as we're done here, uh, we can get your audition together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already have a self tape ready to go. Uh, oh, good, good. <laughs> like in a file, you like have a zip drive. Yeah. Um, it's me doing all the lines of Gary Oldman from Tiptoes. Oh my Tip-toe, god. Tiptoes. Adam Ray, hilarious comedian. Go see him live. Listen to his podcast. Uh, thanks for coming out. <laughs> this is a blast. You guys are. It, I mean, you, you're, you're the great. best. Thanks for having me. This uh, closing song is called "A Very <laughs> Handy Guy" by <laughs> Yahweh. I don't know. That sounds. That's what it is. Yikes. They send in the songs and we just play them. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you guys next week. Good morning, Julia. Sweet Jeff. Just wanted to say hi. Wish you a great day.